Chapter 921 Peak Battle Translator Born to be Zuyu was the first to unleash his attack. A huge bone claw shot forward, releasing an evil air. Its runes were completely different from before. After being nourished by Zuyu, it had become stronger and more sinister. The bone claw was as large as a mountain as it reached toward Long Chen. Zuyu was no longer holding back any trump cards. He had realized that holding back was an exceedingly foolish thing to do now. Long Chen's power far exceeded his expectations. It was only because they had been holding back that Long Chen had managed to kill one of them. If they continued being so foolish, the results would be unthinkable. In the beginning, he had put aside his plans to fight Long Chen on his own and work together with the others because he had been worried about Long Chen fleeing after being defeated. But now he realized that the ones to flee would be them if they continued holding back. The evil dragon bone claw released a horrifying power. That evil air it released made it seem like thousands of ghouls were wailing, demanding lives. Boom. Long Chen used split the heavens, but he was blown back. Now that Zhu Yu was going all out, he was extremely powerful. Long Chen had just blocked Zhu Yu's bone claw when a golden wing slashed down. This wing was formed of runes and was a mile long. It released blinding light. Yu Chang Heo possessed the golden wing blood falcon's bloodline. In ancient times, the golden wing blood falcon was renowned for its power. It was said they were the Golden Peng's descendants, and their wings were their greatest weapons. Yu Chang Heo was also no longer holding back. The illusory image behind him transformed into a huge golden wing that slashed toward Long Chen. Long Chen's expression was solemn, but he wasn't surprised. He had long since known that these fellows were hiding ulterior motives and holding back the majority of their power. After killing him, they would rely on that power to fight over the spoils of battle. But now they finally felt threatened and stopped holding back. This combat power was within his expectations. Long Chen didn't retreat in the face of Yu Chang Heo's attack. Blood Drinker's runes circulated. The energy of his four stars and four key seas surged forth. Boom. Long Chen managed to block the huge wing, but its immense power continued to blow him back rapidly. With a furious roar, Long Chen's muscles bulged as he fought back against the wing's immense power. Die. Seeing Long Chen was deadlocked with Yu Chang Heo, the two ancient race experts didn't hesitate to pour all their energy into their treasure items. The true form of their treasure items appeared in the air. Scram. Long Chen's roar was like thunder. With a fierce shove, he forced Yu Chang Heo's huge wing to the side. It now came crashing toward the two of them. Boom. Yu Chang Heo's huge wing struck their two attacks. All four of them were blown back. This was a truly heaven-shaking collision. Heaven and earth changed color. The sun and moon lost all color, and space crumbled. The peak experts were finally going all out. The level this battle had reached was appalling. Spiderweb cracks appeared on the ground. The distant experts had no choice but to stop fighting and focus on defending against the aftershocks. After enduring it, whether it was the aboriginals, the righteous path, the corrupt path, or the ancient races, they all stopped fighting. Gathering together, they retreated even further. They now realized that their battle was no different than a game between children. The true battle was over there. If they continued fighting, then before their enemies killed them, they would be killed by the shock waves. Remote Heaven Dragon Trapping Net. Ji Chang Kong also finally took action. He specialized in magical arts, and the hand seals he made caused the void to quiver. Millions of chains appeared in the air from every direction, piercing toward Long Chen. This was an extremely terrifying magical art and its scope was especially astonishing. These chains covered an area of several thousand miles, making it so no one could dodge. Long Chen could only receive it head on. The instant the chains had formed, Long Chen's heart was shaken. He hadn't expected Ji Chang Kong's control over magical arts to have reached such a refined realm. He released a slash of Saber Key that struck the chains, but they didn't break. The chains were flexible, allowing them to avoid taking on too much force. They continued to pierce toward Long Chen. Long Chen, this is my remote heaven dragon trapping net. It is a secret art that my remote heaven gang does not share with others. It is incomparably tough, capable of even trapping dragons. You won't be able to escape, sneered Ji Chang Kong as he controlled his hand seals. This remote heaven dragon trapping net was his strongest technique. In a one against one, he had the confidence to trap anyone. Just this one technique made him undefeatable. The dragons you're talking about are definitely not true dragons. A dragon's power isn't something an idiot like you could understand. Watch as I break your garbage net. Long Chen raised Blood Drinker. Its runes rapidly circulated, and it grew rapidly, piercing into the clouds and the chains. Break.
blood drinker's runes suddenly froze and terrifying ripples erupted. The ripples destroyed the chains one by one. Impossible. Ji Chang Kong couldn't believe his own eyes. Long Chen had now summoned Blood Drinker's true body. This was Blood Drinker's strongest state. Blood Drinker was a peak grade treasure item, and after being nourished by his soul for so long, their connection was extremely close. Its power wasn't something other peak grade treasure items could compare to. The chains were heavenly Dao chains, and it should have been impossible for them to break. All cultivators felt respect and fear for the heavenly Daos. That was an innate suppression. No matter how brazen a person was, they wouldn't dare to fight against the heavens. The name of the remote heaven dragon trapping net was actually a ploy to intimidate others. Relying on the heavenly Dao suppression, then adding the intimidating name, it made it so others wouldn't even be able to form the urge to fight back. It destroyed a person's will and then easily trapped them. But this kind of trick was useless against Long Chen. In front of those terrifying heavenly tribulations, he had never lowered his head. Last time, he had even been bound by true heavenly Dao lightning chains, but he had still torn apart the dome of the sky. Was Ji Chang Kong trying to make a joke by attempting to trap him in these chains? In truth, Blood Drinker's power wasn't what had destroyed these chains. Instead, while releasing its own power, it had also released Long Chen's unrevealed will. Even the will of the heavenly Daos had to break in front of Long Chen's will. Without the will of the heavenly Daos supporting them, these chains were just formed of ordinary heavenly Dao energy. That was what had resulted in their easy collapse. Long Chen, have a taste of my devil soul possession corrupt corpse rebirth. Long Chen had just broken the remote heaven dragon trapping net when a huge figure appeared in front of him. In front of all those ultimate moves, Long Chen's expression had been extremely flat. But seeing the current Ka Wu Tu, he was shocked. Ka Wu Tu's entire body was black. He looked like a corpse. And even his head had disappeared. He attacked Long Chen with a huge hatchet. Long Chen had never seen a technique like this. When his saber clashed against Ka Wutu's hatchet, he found that the headless Ka Wutu was now incomparably powerful. His body emitted endless death key that would make a person feel like their bodies were rotting when they came into contact with it. With his saber blocking the hatchet, Long Chen sent a kick toward Ka Wutu's abdomen. But Ka Wutu was only kicked a few meters away. While a burst of pain came from Long Chen's foot, Long Chen was startled. He dodged Ka Wutu's next attack and slashed his saber into his shoulder. Although Ka Wutu's power had explosively grown, his agility had dropped quite a bit. Shockingly, his saber merely caused some metallic ringing when it landed on Ka Wutu's body. It was like it had slashed into another treasure item. His body wasn't injured at all. Ha 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 ha, Long Chen, you looked down on me too much. This technique of mine is called the Devil Soul Possession Corrupt Corpse Rebirth. This body you see isn't mine. Even the soul isn't mine. It is a peerless expert soul and a peerless expert's corpse. Sword or spear. Fire or water. Nothing is able to damage me. This is my undefeatable state. Ka Wutu's laughter came from his abdomen. This technique was so strange that it made a person's hair stand on end. So what? Your corpse is lacking a head. And no matter how strong that soul of yours is, the corpse can't be used to fight without a head. If you can't control it properly in battle, it's still trash in the end. Long Chen slashed his saber. Ka Wutu instinctively went to block it, but this had just been a feint from Long Chen. His hatchet landed on nothing, which revealed an opening that Long Chen used to kick him away. Len Yuan had been entirely correct. Ka Wutu was precisely a cutting board. Right now, Long Chen had no time to study him any further, because Zhu Yu and the others were once more charging forward. Long Chen had pushed his combat power to its peak with his divine ring and four star battle armor. A fierce battle erupted, one that caused the world to shake. Peak like blood shadow, a furious row resonated. A figure flew out, leaving phantoms behind him as his speed was pushed to the peak. He charged forward and slashed a sword at Long Chen. Chapter 922 Double Dragon Destruction Reappears Translator Born to be sword key pierced toward Long Chen, causing his hair to stand on end. There was something different about this sword key. He used the lightning body blink to dodge it, and it flew past his body. Ka Wutu had been in the midst of raising his hatchet when the sword key struck him. Shockingly, Ka Wutu's previously impervious body had a cut appear on it. Long Chen, I'll definitely end you. Wang Junmo appeared, his eyes scarlet. He hated Long Chen down to his bones. Last time, he had acted like a god to play the devil with the eastern wasteland bell. He had caused him to lose a fortune and almost lose his life. It was a huge humiliation for him. He had been waiting from moment time Long Chen arrived at Drake Mountain. 
but he hadn't found an opportunity to kill him in a single blow. Without being assured of killing him in one blow, he hadn't attacked. Up until now, he had never failed his assassination attempts with the exception of when he had attacked Long Chen on Insect Island. This time he had decided to kill Long Chen in one blow to erase the humiliation he had given him and retrieve his glory as a killing god. However, Long Chen was too strong. Despite his calm as an assassin, he had lost his patience. He was worried Long Chen would kill everyone, and then he would never be able to kill him. So he had set his gaze on Meng Qi. Originally, he hadn't had any plans on killing her. His plan had been to heavily injure her and take her as a hostage. That would give him another trump card and infuriate Long Chen. Regretfully, he had landed within Long Chen's plan. As soon as he made his move, he had been seen through and had his concealing arts ruined. Then Long Chen had launched a sudden attack against him. Due to having his aura concealed, his energy had been in a static state. He hadn't had time to fully activate his power. So that one attack had almost taken his life. If it hadn't been for Zhu Yu and the others attacking, then one more attack from Long Chen would have erased Wang Junmo's existence from this world. Wang Junmo was infuriated. After healing, he had immediately erupted with his full power, using the peak light blood shadow movement art, as well as his blood fiend sword key. Blood fiend sword key was a secret technique of the blood kill hall. After using the user's essence blood, it absorbed all the baleful aura in the world to release an incomparably fierce attack. Legend said that the blood fiend sword key was an extremely extraordinary secret art. It was a magical art that had received the killing god's blessing. Do you not have eyes? Raged Kawutu upon seeing this attack leave a foot-long cut on his body. This body was not his own. It was a corpse. And it didn't bleed. Nor did it feel pain. But once its muscles and bones were severed, its combat power would sharply drop. Don't fight. Work together to kill Long Chen first. Otherwise, don't even think about trying to explain yourself to the higher-ups. Shouted Zhu Yu. To kill Long Chen. The corrupt path, the righteous path, and the ancient races had suffered immense losses. If they couldn't even kill him in the end, they would be screwed. They had no way to explain such huge casualties. Zhu Yu, Yu Chang Heo, Ka Wu Tu, Ji Chang Kong, Wang Junmo, and the two peak ancient race experts attacked at the same time. The treasure items in their hands released blinding light, as huge projections of their weapons appeared in the air. Seven experts had unstintingly sacrificed their spiritual yuan to summon their treasure items true forms. Right now, there was nothing more important to them than killing Long Chen. Blood drinker, let's see just how strong you are. Long Chen took a deep breath, and the energy in his four C's poured into Blood drinker. A 300 meter saber appeared in the air. Kill. Long Chen roared and charged forward. The manifestations of the treasure items true bodies clashed together fiercely. It was like the end of the world. The distant experts were only able to see light exploding, unable to see anything within that light. All of them were stupefied by the level of this battle. Watching this apocalyptic battle, even Menki and the others were sweating despite their trust in Long Chen. The people he was facing were all heavenly geniuses that could shake the world. They all had legends of being undefeatable. But Long Chen was facing seven of them at the same time, causing their hearts to rise into their throats. Not good. Boss is starting to lose. Gu Yang's expression suddenly changed. They had been fighting evenly for an incense stick's worth of time. Even one against seven. Long Chen hadn't been at a disadvantage at the start. But as time passed, the seven of them gradually got used to the other's attack styles. Their cooperation was growing, and they were no longer just fighting on their own. Long Chen was being forced to constantly fall back. Seeing that caused everyone's hearts to clench. Wild was about to charge out when he was stopped by Men Qi. Perhaps in the entire Dragonblood Legion, only Wilde possessed the power to participate in a battle on this level. But Wilde didn't understand any battle tactics, let alone how to cooperate with others. If he rashly entered, then there was a chance he might be able to kill one of them instantly. But if they were in a deadlock, then considering that the seven of them were veterans of hundreds of battles, it would gradually become dangerous for Wilde. And the chances of him managing to kill one of them instantly were extremely remote. At that time, Long Chen would have to look after Wild. It wasn't worth it. Unless Long Chen was truly in a critical situation, they couldn't interfere. Long Chen, no one will be able to save you now, shouted Zhu Yu as he attacked with his bone claw. In truth, Zhu Yu and the others were incomparably shocked and not just by Long Chen's combat prowess. They were also shocked by the blood-colored saber in his hands. Even after fighting so long and clashing so many times against their own peak-grade treasure items, that saber wasn't the slightest bit damaged. 
On the other hand, it was their peak grade treasure items like the Bone Claw and Yu Chang Heo's Bao that were starting to reach their breaking points. As for Wang Junmo, there were several small nicks in his translucent sword, making him incredibly distressed. The only comforting thing was that they had finally understood each other's rhythms and were able to put Long Chen at a disadvantage at last. Now the situation was dangerous for him. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that the seven of them were extremely strong. It was fortunate he had killed one in the beginning, or his current plight would be even more miserable. Die. Suddenly, the seven of them released a combination attack. The energy from their seven weapons merged together, forming an incomparably terrifying attack. This combination attack was full of flaws as it was their first time using it, but it was still extremely powerful. As soon as it appeared, Men Qi and the others clenched their fists. Boom. Long Chen used the second form of Split the Heavens and brought out all of Blood Drinker's power, but he was still sent flying and vomited blood. If it weren't for the fact that he had started refining the true Dragon Essence blood, completely changing his physical body, he'd have long since been blown apart. And if Blood Drinker wasn't so strong and blocking the majority of their power for him, he would have become Kawutu's cutting board. Long Chen vomited blood, feeling that his organs and bones had been badly damaged. Their combination attack was unblockable. And after fighting so long, he felt his spiritual Yuan had dropped drastically despite his four key Cs. Seeing their attack injure Long Chen, they didn't give him any breathing room. They once more unleashed their combination attack. With their experience from the last one, its power was even greater than ever. Long Chen, Tang Wan Er was filled with worry. Seeing him vomit blood, she felt like needles were stabbing her heart. Men Qi held her hand, both of their palms covered in sweat. Despite their worry, they were unable to help. Zhu Yu, Yu Chang Heo, and the others were peak rank 4 celestials. The density of their spirit blood gave them immense combat power. Tang Wan Er and the others were able to fight ordinary rank 4 celestials. But these seven were too terrifying. With the power they were currently displaying, they could easily kill an ordinary rank 4 celestial. As for the aboriginals, they didn't have the slightest ability to fight people like Zhu Yu and the other. The difference in power was just too big. Don't worry. Boss has a trump card. Contrary to the others, Guo Ran was full of confidence. The faith he had in Long Chen was practically blind. But as expected, it was truly Guo Ran that understood Long Chen the best. As soon as he had said this, Long Chen put away Blood Drinker and formed hand seals. As he formed the hand seals, two dragon tattoos on his arms began to shine. An aura that caused heaven and earth to change rose. Looks like there won't be any more variables. So there's no need to hold back any longer. Double dragon destruction. Roaring filled the air. A lightning and flame dragon erupted into the air like a twister. Chapter 923 Devil Blood Sacrifice Translator. Born to be after devouring the blood incinerating lion flame. Huo Long had finally finished refining its energy. It was now incredibly powerful. As for Lai Long, it had refined the thunder force from Long Chen's tribulation. Which made it even fiercer. Now that the two dragons appeared in the world again. Their pressure caused the world to shake. After testing it several times, Long Chen had concluded that there wouldn't be any more unforeseen events. He directly released his greatest trump card. The two dragons coiled around each other as they charged toward the seven of them. The two dragons were both a mile long, but in truth, their true bodies were much larger. If they brought out their true bodies, they would at least be ten miles long. But Long Chen had them compress their bodies. That might catch their opponents off guard and bring about the greatest possible gains. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, the double dragon attack ruthlessly struck Zhu Yu and the other's combination attack. A blinding light erupted and even the star shuddered. Zhu Yu and the others were appalled to find that their combination attack was unable to bear even the first impact of the two dragons. Their attack instantly exploded, and then the two dragons continued to rush toward them. A terrifying sensation of death filled their hearts. They all realized it was too late to run. Zhu Yu was the first to act. A blood red ray shot out of his third eye and onto the bone claw. Zhu Yu was feeding his own essence blood to the corrupt dragon bone claw in order to bring out its greatest power. He had no choice but to sacrifice his precious essence blood now. He had to protect his life first. The bone claw closed around him, protecting him at its core. At the same time, a threefold blood red barrier appeared around it. The others also quickly unleashed powerful trump cards. Those trump cards all came at a price but it allowed them to summon the greatest possible defense. Boom. The two dragons exploded. The world lost all its light and the time turned still. Even Long Chen was shocked by his own attack. The distant experts looked up at the sky in horror. 
This time, the power was extremely condensed. The explosion had only affected the core region without unleashing an immense shock wave. It was extremely strange. After a moment, the seven of them reappeared in their sights, all of them vomiting blood. Zhu Yu's bone claw was covered in cracks. This attack had basically ruined it. Zhu Yu himself was pale as paper. His third eye was tightly closed, a trickle of blood slowly pouring out of it. Yu Chang Heo appeared even more miserable. The two wings that had protected him were smashed apart, and he was covered in blood. The others were the same. The peak grade treasure items they held in their hands had shattered. The only reason why they had managed to survive was because they had used self-harming techniques to push their defenses to the peak. Suddenly, a figure appeared beside Wang Junmo. A saber pierced through his body. While they were still in the midst of their terror and shock, Long Chen had launched a sudden attack. Wang Junmo's treasure item had already shattered, and blocking Long Chen's attack had heavily injured him. While his body looked complete, in reality, his insides had been smashed and broken. He was incredibly weak now. To block the double dragon destruction, he had used up all his spiritual yuan. There was no way for him to use heavenly Dao energy to recover. As a result, Long Chen's blade easily pierced his chest. Wang Junmo, do you have anything to say? Said Long Chen, panting. Just now, Long Chen hadn't held back with the double dragon destruction. He had basically used up all his spiritual yuan. That was what had allowed Lai Long and Huo Long to possess such terrifying power. He was also exhausted, but he knew the others were worse off than him. His first choice was to immediately kill Wang Junmo because of his abilities to flee. The speed he had displayed in their battle hadn't been slower than his own when he used the lightning body blink. With his saber through his body, Long Chen could tell exactly what was going on inside Wang Junmo. His injuries were incredibly heavy, to the point that he was on the verge of collapse. Defense was the fatal weakness of assassins. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that Wang Junmo looked down at the blade piercing his chest and smiled. He shook his head. The winner is king, while the loser is garbage. There's nothing to say. Death is the final fate of all assassins. I return to the gods' embrace. Suddenly, a strange sound came from Wang Junmo's body. His body cracked like porcelain and then broke apart, falling to the ground. Wang Junmo was dead. He had used the final bit of power remaining inside him to end himself. Even his soul had dissipated as he had chosen a dignified way to die. Long Chen looked at Bloodrinker. In truth, he had sensed Wang Junmo's actions and could have stopped him. But he hadn't in the end, allowing Wang Junmo to die with dignity. Although Wang Junmo had been arrogant and targeted him multiple times, that was simply a part of the cultivation path. This path was naturally a game of natural selection. The majority of people only did what they did in order to live. Once a person was dead, the past grievances were settled. A generation's genius, a peerless assassin, had died. The world was silent for a moment. The other six experts stood in the distance, filled with shock. This result was not something they had wanted. Attack. Suddenly, the experts of the corrupt path and ancient races charged toward them. They were horrified. If they allowed this to continue, their peak experts would find it difficult to flee from Long Chen's vicious grasp. Stop them, shouted Guo Ran as he led everyone over. Everyone on Long Chen's battlefield was out of energy. Although the others couldn't help before, they could help now. Wild roared furiously and charged to the front, with other experts following. The aboriginals moved out in full force, forming a wall that prevented the others from passing. The battlefield once more became chaotic. Long Chen felt weary enough to die but he still raised his blade and charged at Zhu Yu and the others. All of them were out of spiritual Yuan and were fighting with only their physical bodies. All of them knew that Long Chen was also exhausted. In the end, it would be up to who could last longer. Boom. After an intense bout, one of the peak ancient race experts was struck by his saber and blown to bits. But to do so, Long Chen had left an opening on his back. The other ancient race expert stabbed his sword through him. But before he could celebrate, Long Chen sent him a kick to the crotch. That fierce pain caused his brain to go blank for a moment. Watch out, shouted Ji Chang Kong. But it was too late. Long Chen's saber had already severed his neck. His head flew into the air. But before it could get far, Long Chen turned his wrist and slashed his saber through it. Another peak expert fell. At the same time as Long Chen killed the two of them, he had to take four attacks. Zhu Yu's sword almost cut him in half. Zhu Yu's peak grade treasure item was still fine. He had sacrificed the evil dragon bone claw, while Yu Chang Heo had sacrificed his wings to keep his weapon intact. Right now, the only ones remaining were Zhu Yu, Yu Chang Heo, Ka Wu Tu, and Ji Chang Kong. 
Ji Chang Kong was the most treacherous one. When blocking Long Chen's double dragon destruction, he had intentionally taken a step back and stood behind the foolish Kawutu. As a result, the cutting board was truly effective, managing to save his life. Although his treasure item had still been broken in the collision, Kawutu had at least saved his life. As for Kawutu, his corpse had been completely destroyed, revealing his true body. All his spiritual yuan had been sucked dry by the corpse. And right now, he was fighting with the high-grade treasure item. Seeing Long Chen be repeatedly injured delighted Zhu Yu and the others. Without spiritual yuan, there was no way for them to recover. So taking injuries at this time could be fatal. But their hearts quickly turned cold. Long Chen's injuries disappeared in the blink of an eye. There wasn't even a scar. If it weren't for his torn clothes and blood stains, they might even think their eyes had broken. The reason why Long Chen dared to take all these injuries was because he had the primal chaos beat and its monstrous healing capability. At this time, its healing ability was practically heaven defying. Men Qi and the others were blocking the corrupt path and ancient races experts from assisting. Fortunately, the righteous experts had disappeared. However, Men Qi was aware of the truth. The truth was that they were pretending to be dead by lying on the ground. Some of them even dug their way into the ground. It seemed that if Long Chen won, they wouldn't do anything. But if Ji Chang Kong won, they would suddenly revive from the dead. Although this kind of conduct was contemptuous, it was a good thing for Men Qi and the others. Boom Novaloon.com Suddenly, Ka Wutu's club was split apart by Long Chen's attack and he was knocked back, vomiting blood. Long Chen naturally wouldn't give up on this opportunity, and he appeared in front of Ka Wutu like a phantom, once more slashing with his sword. You idiot Long Chen, why don't you go kill the others? Are you treating me like an easy target? Roared Ka Wutu furiously. Ka Wutu suddenly reached into his own chest. Blood splashed as he ripped out his own heart. Ka Wutu crushed his own heart, and a blood diagram appeared in front of him. At the same time, Ka Wutu's vitality rapidly declined. Devil blood sacrifice. The void erupted as a huge figure appeared. A fist bigger than a house smashed toward Long Chen. Chapter 924 Terrifying Trump Card Translator Born to be a figure appeared out of nowhere and smashed its fist toward Long Chen. Long Chen's expression changed as he recognized this figure. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying. That berserk power seemed like it could shatter heaven and earth. Long Chen shot across the ground, leaving behind a long ditch. This sudden change shocked everyone. Whether it was Zhu Yu, Yu Chang Heo, or Ji Chang Kong, they looked at that figure with shock, as well as complete terror. Flame. Flame Devil. Zhu Yu and Yu Chang Heo also recognized this figure. It had two horns on its bullish head. Its 300 meter body had scarlet runes circulating around it like surging lava. Long Chen, Zhu Yu, and Yu Chang Heo were the most terrified ones out of them all. Back when they had fought in the coffin region, they had inadvertently broken its seal, releasing this ancient devil. Back then, they had almost been killed by it. They had miserably fled and barely escaped with their lives. Just thinking about that made their hearts palpitate. This muscle had Kawutu had actually been hiding such a terrifying trump card. Lord Flame Devil, I've sacrificed my heart's essence blood to you. I ask you to kill this brat, shouted Kawutu. When everyone looked at Kawutu, they were startled to see that practically all his blood key had vanished. Even the flame of his life was exceedingly weak, looking like it might extinguish at any time. It seemed Kawutu had paid an extremely steep price to summon the Flame Devil. Once this battle was over, Kawutu would basically be crippled for the rest of his life. You released me, so I promised to help you out once. I won't eat my words. That huge flame devil actually opened its mouth and spat out human words. Its voice resounded throughout the air, shaking people's eardrums. The flame devil suddenly reached out a hand and caught Kawutu, throwing him in his mouth. Crunch. Kawutu's startled cry rang out for a moment before the sound of bones breaking rang out. Everyone's hair stood on end and they became covered in sweat. Our agreement's complete. I'll kill him for you, and we'll owe each other nothing. The flame devil finished swallowing Kawutu and turned to look at Long Chen. The flame devil had escaped its prison, but it had still been bound by its seal. It had only been able to move within a small region. Kawutu had heard of its release, and once he had advanced to become a rank 4 celestial and his corpse devil blood had awoken, he had the courage to try seeing if he could subdue the flame devil. Amongst his ancestors was an almighty expert who had specialized in controlling corpses and devils. So he possessed a special kind of energy. He could also use this energy as feed for devils to make them obedient. However, Kawutu had underestimated the flame devil's terror. 
As soon as he had tried placing a slave mark, the flame devil had gone crazy. If it weren't for the seal, he'd have died. Since the flame devil was so terrifying, he gave up on enslaving it. Instead, he switched to forming an agreement with it. He walked the corpse devil Deo, so he understood a bit about the flame devil seal. Setting up a formation was extremely complicated, but breaking it was simple. Kawutu formed an agreement with the flame devil that he would break its seal, and it would help him out once. But the flame devil was extremely greedy, and for it to help him, it required him to sacrifice his heart's essence blood. Experts who cultivated the corpse devil Deo concentrated their essence blood in their hearts, and that was the tastiest thing to devils. It possessed an irresistible allure. Kawutu had agreed in the end, so the flame devil had been staying in his spiritual space this entire time. It was Kawutu's strongest trump card. Kawutu hadn't used it this entire time because he had been hoping for Long Chen to kill Zhu Yu, Ji Chang Kong, and Yu Chang Heo for him, then it would be his turn. That way, he could summon the flame devil and have Long Chen killed. Then all the top geniuses of the eastern wasteland would be dead, and he alone would rule. But once they were down to four, Long Chen had started placing his sights on him, so he had no choice but to release the flame devil. As a result, he had underestimated the flame devil's appetite. After devouring his heart's essence blood, he had devoured the rest of him as well. Inferior human race, you can all die. The flame devil's row resounded throughout the air. It stamped on the ground, and a ripple spread. Ji Chang Kong, Yu Chang Heo, and Zhu Yu were immediately sent flying, wildly vomiting blood. As for the flame devil, its huge body shot toward Long Chen. It closed a gap of hundreds of miles in an instant. Long Chen didn't dare take its fist head on. He hastily dodged to the side. As a result, the flame devil's fist smashed onto the ground, causing another explosion. Inferior ant, you shouldn't resist. Just obediently carry out your role and I'll give you a painless death. The flame devil continuously attacked, destroying the ground. Its body was huge, but its movements were shockingly fast and nimble. His size didn't cause any clumsiness in his movements. Long Chen's expression was solemn. He suddenly used the lightning body blink to appear right in front of the flame devil's head. Right after the flame devil had finished one punch and was storing energy for the next, Long Chen once more brought out Blood Drinker's true body. An immense saber image slashed onto the flame devil's head. It was unknown whether it had been sealed for too long or whether it was an instinct, but it vainly tilted its head, trying to dodge. However, its head was too big and they were too close, so there was no way for it to dodge. Long Chen's saber landed cleanly on its forehead. Boom. Long Chen's saber managed to strike the flame devil but the flame devil's palm also struck him. Long Chen felt like every bone in his body had broken, and he vomited blood. Long Chen, Tang Wan'er shot over. Just as she was reaching out to catch him, her expression changed. Hastily forming hand seals, a dozen wind nets appeared in front of her, catching Long Chen. Those sturdy wind nets were pierced through, but Long Chen's speed dropped slightly. Only then did Tang Wan'er reach out to catch him. However, she still felt as if a mountain had struck her and they both flew back. Tang Wan'er only managed to stabilize a hundred miles away. Everyone was horrified by how powerful the flame devil was. The situation had once more changed. Everyone stopped fighting to stare at the flame devil. It only had eyes for Long Chen. The ancient race experts flocked toward Yu Chang Heo, and the corrupt paths experts all surged toward Zhu Yu. Countless dead people flew out of the ground and regrouped with Ji Chang Kong. Long Chen was still hacking up blood. The flame devil's power simply was too much. Boss, Guo Ran and the others saw that Long Chen's injuries were terrifying. Practically all his bones were covered in cracks. Long Chen took a deep breath. He looked inside the primal chaos space. As he drew out its life energy to heal, he saw that all the huge trees had withered by the time he fully recovered. After such a long battle and after taking so many injuries, the huge trees were finally unable to bear it. Furthermore, Long Chen's physical body was stronger than before, meaning he needed more life energy to heal. This was the last time he could heal. The flame devil roared and once more charged at Long Chen. It had to fulfill its obligations and kill Long Chen before it could regain its freedom. Boss, what should we do? Asked Guo Ran urgently. Wild, you let everyone to block it for a moment. I need time to launch a big move, said Long Chen. He took a deep breath. All right, wild shot forward immediately using the barbarian blood bronze body. Hey, I wasn't finished talking yet. Quick, go help him. Stall for me, said Long Chen. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Yu Zifeng, Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, and Guo Ran all flew out. 
along with the three earth dragons and the Rede sacred blood phoenix. Boom. Wild had already exchanged blows with the flame devil. On the entire battlefield, Wild was the one with the greatest power right now, with the exception of the flame devil. He had been making up for his exhaustion the entire time. As soon as he stopped fighting, he would take out more food. This huge battle had caused him to use up all his rations now. However, his power was still at its peak. Regretfully, even in his peak state, he couldn't stop the flame devil. In their first exchange, he was blown back, his hand bleeding, but he continued charging forward. Fortunately, at this time, everyone else arrived. Treasure items flew through the air, unleashing powerful attacks. Combined with the four magical beasts, they were just barely able to stop the flame devil. However, the flame devil's power surpassed their imaginations. Other than Wild who was able to take a head-on blow, the others couldn't stop him without combining all their efforts. Despite working together, there was the danger of being killed at any moment. Gu Yang was almost killed by an attack, but Men Qi sacrificed a high-grade treasure item to block the flame devil for him. That treasure item exploded upon being struck by the flame devil's fist. The fortunate thing was that they were rich now. Each one of them had several high-grade treasure items. After a while, sacrificing those treasure items was the only way for them to hold back the flame devil. Even Menki's 8th rank earth dragon could be killed in one shot by the flame devil. Looking at them fighting such a bloody, dangerous battle, the aboriginals all clenched their fists, but they were powerless to assist. They had the heart but not the power. Suddenly, the flame devil roared and sent Wild flying. The bones of his shoulder broke through his skin, but Wild continued to fight. However, the difference in power was starting to show itself. With another fist, it sent Wild flying once more. Two globes of light appeared in its hands, and it suddenly merged them together. A berserk aura erupted. Despicable humans, you can all die. The flame devil slammed the combined globe into the ground, and a sensation of death filled Menki and the others. Raging flame prison. Just as that fierce attack was about to erupt, divine chanting filled the air. Chapter 925 Little Snow's Sacrifice Translator Born to be the globe the flame devil had summoned was created from his core energy. It had been angered at being held back and grew impatient. So it had been preparing to unleash one of its ultimate attacks. Once that attack was unleashed, it was confident that it could kill all the ants stopping it. This attack wasn't something the flame devil could unleash whenever it wanted. If it hadn't been angered at being held back, it wouldn't have been willing to sacrifice its core energy like this. Just as its attack was about to erupt. Countless flame runes condensed in the air around it. Columns of flame soared into the air, forming a mile-long prison that trapped it at the center. It was at this moment that the flame devil's attack erupted. Boom. Menki's earth dragon used its huge body to block the attack for everyone. But the explosion of that globe was too terrifying. The earth dragon was turned into a bloody mess. Even its insides were leaking, and it was pushed to the brink of death. However, with it blocking for them, everyone else only suffered some injuries. Menki felt a burst of pain. Just now, she hadn't ordered the Earth Dragon to block for them. She had been preparing to use the Soul Suppressing Tower to block it. But the Earth Dragon had been worried she would suffer a backlash and charged in front of her, causing her to feel both moved and guilty. She hastily returned it to her spiritual space. Fortunately, the Earth Dragon possessed a trace of the Dragon Race's bloodline. Its body was extremely powerful. Although it was on the brink of death, it wouldn't die but recovering would definitely take a long time. In truth, the main reason Menki and the others were able to survive was because of the Raging Flame Prison. It had received the majority of the impact. What the Earth Dragon had received was nothing more than some aftershocks. Long Chen was covered in sweat. What leftover spiritual Yuan he had was now sucked up by the Raging Flame Prison. The fortunate thing was that using the Nirvana scripture didn't require his spiritual Yuan. As the chanting resounded throughout the air, all the flame energy in the world surged into his flame prison. Everyone held. Raging flame death blow. Long Chen suddenly changed his hand seals. And the prison began to rapidly shrink. Long Chen wanted to use the Nirvana scripture to crush the flame devil to death. Menki and the others all rushed over beside him. Placing their hands on his backs. They poured in what remaining spiritual yuan they had into his body. The flame devil let out a furious roar and went all out attacking the flame prison. However, it was unable to break it. When Long Chen had used the Raging Flame Prison before, its flame chains had only been the width of a finger. But now, each one of those flame chains was as thick as a person's waist. It was unknown just how many times stronger it was. 
the power of the raging flame prison was directly related to the quality of the flame it used. Huo Long had now devoured another stronger earth flame, making its power soar. That combined with the Nirvana scripture allowed Long Chen to trap this incomparably powerful flame devil. Ants. The supreme devil race can't be trapped by the likes of you. The flame devil roared, unleashing berserk attacks against the flame prison. Once the flame prison had shrunk to the same size as the flame devil, it stopped shrinking. It was unable to compress the flame devil any further as it crazily struggled. Furthermore, it would occasionally expand and shrink again. All tribesmen move out. The stone tribe's leader was the first to charge over, placing a hand on Gu Yang's back. He poured in his own energy through Gu Yang. Although their combat power was reduced by the curse, they had plenty of spiritual yuan. Following the stone tribe's leader, the others also shot into motion, placing their hands on the backs of whoever was in front. Hundreds of sea expansion experts sent all their Danshan's energy to Long Chen without reserve. Ten thousand streams formed a river, a hundred rivers formed a sea. All the aboriginals, regardless of cultivation base, passed on their spiritual yuan. After such an intense battle, the warriors of the aboriginals had lost two-thirds of their number. Now, they numbered less than a hundred thousand. But for almost a hundred thousand experts to send their spiritual yuan to him, Long Chen immediately felt the pressure lighten. Although this kind of spiritual yuan transmission was extremely crude and lost 90% of the energy in the process, with their numbers, it was still an extremely powerful force. Long Chen concentrated all this energy into compressing the raging flame prison. Damnable ants, the noble devil race won't submit to you. The raging flame prison rapidly shrank to 150 meters. The flame devil wasn't able to move any longer. Furthermore, as it shrank, its power only grew. For the flame devil to once more expand the prison would be very difficult. Long Chen, are you alright? How about I also help you? Suddenly, the distant Zhu Yu sneered, causing Long Chen and the others' expressions to change. Zhu Yu formed hand seals and an illusory figure appeared behind him. That was the image of a fiend. Its long hair touched the ground, and long tusks protruded out of its mouth. It appeared incredibly lifelike. It immediately took out a dagger and left a cut on its long tongue. Black blood flowed out. As that black blood flowed out, Zhu Yu's third eye opened. A bizarre rune surfaced in his eye, and that black blood landed on it. Yama King blood curse. A fiendish image shot out of his third eye and at Long Chen. The entire world became full of death key like it was cursed. The Yama King blood curse made this world seem like hell on earth. And whether a lie or enemy, everyone felt their hair stand on end. It felt like their souls were about to be squeezed out of them. Long Chen's arm shook and Lai Long shot out. This was a trump card Long Chen had been holding back specifically to handle Zhu Yu's Yama King blood curse. Zhu Yu's curse arts were too bizarre and too insidious. He was able to curse a person to death. Although Long Chen had gone all out with the double dragon destruction previously, he had still told the two dragons to preserve a tenth of their energy. This cautiousness was now proved to be the right choice. His luck was always lacking. So rather than hoping that he would be lucky and nothing bad would happen, he would rather have the strength to handle things when they did happen. Huo Long had been used to condense the flame prison, while Lai Long was used to block the curse. Lai Long came from the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning. It was a supreme Yang existence, a direct counter to Zhu Yu's curses. Although it only had a tenth of its power, Long Chen was sure that destroying Zhu Yu's curse would be no problem for it. Long Chen had no time to pay attention after sending out Lai Long. He went all out trying to kill the flame devil. He had to kill it as fast as possible or if Zhu Yu once more attacked, it would be troublesome. Long Chen, let me help you as well. Ha ha ha. Ji Chang Kong suddenly laughed. He took out a yellow scroll that emitted an ancient and desolate aura. Spatial displacement. Ji Chang Kong smiled sinisterly. A rune appeared in his hand, and he pressed it against the ancient scroll. A ray of light shot out at Lai Long. Space twisted and Lai Long vanished from their sights. When it reappeared, it was tens of thousands of miles away. Ha ha ha, Dai Long Chen, laughed Ji Chang Kong. The ancient scroll in his hand turned to dust. It was a one-time use item. It didn't normally have any use at all. But now, it became the best trump card to kill Long Chen. This sudden change caught even Long Chen off guard. By the time he realized what was happening, the Yama King blood curse was right in front of him. Long Chen's mind turned blank. This kind of curse could not be dodged. There needed to be someone to take his place for it or it would continue chasing him forever. If he tried using the lightning body blink, it was true he could escape it. By flying into the midst of the corrupt path, finding a scapegoat was easy. 
But if he did that, all his previous efforts would be wasted. The raging flame prison would instantly collapse, and they would have to face the flame devil's merciless slaughter. Caught between a rock and a hard place, Long Chen didn't know what he should choose. A roar reverberated throughout the air. Don't. Long Chen suddenly cried out. His spiritual space fluctuated and a snow-white figure appeared in front of Long Chen. The Yama King blood curse instantly struck its body. No. Long Chen let out a heart-rending cry. And as a result of his chaotic mental state, his spiritual strength became unsteady and the raging flame prison exploded. Everyone was sent flying by a shockwave. Long Chen tightly held Little Snow. His gaze was rapidly growing dim. Little Snow, you can't die. Feeling Little Snow's vitality rapidly fading, Long Chen felt like vipers were biting his heart. Little Snow licked Long Chen's face and then turned limp. Right before dying, his final message was, If there is another life, I would want to be with you again. A-H-H. -H. Long Chen roared. Killing intent filled the entire world. The winds and clouds changed color. His fury had reached a kind of pinnacle. He thought of how Little Snow had been with him ever since he was the size of a palm. He thought of how Little Snow had risked life and limb to cross thousands of miles to find him as just a cub. Countless scenes surfaced in his mind. Die, you damnable ant. Having escaped its prison, the flame devil smashed its fist at Long Chen. Suddenly, a barrier of light surrounded Long Chen, blocking the flame devil's attack. You should let me handle this, sighed the eastern wasteland bell. It was just about to take action. Fuck off. You just watched as Little Snow died? I don't need the help of a bastard like you. Tears streamed down Long Chen's eyes. Little Snow's death caused him to go completely crazy. Long Chen's blood key began to boil. It was like a wild dragon was awakening. A divine and terrifying aura erupted. Chapter 926 Green Dragon Battle Armor Translator Born to be something inside Long Chen's body seemed to break. Blood key crazily erupted and shockingly. His skin began to crack. Blood poured out, dyeing his entire blood red. Long Chen, you're crazy. There's still a portion of the true dragon essence blood that you haven't finished refining. You'll die, roared the eastern wasteland bell. Me being crazy is at least better than an emotionless bastard who just watches as others die. Long Chen roared back. He was full of hate. He hated the eastern wasteland bell. It clearly possessed the ability to save Little Snow but had chosen to just watch. He hated Zhu Yu. He hated Ji Chang Kong. He hated the flame devil. He hated every one of his enemies, wishing to bite them to death. He hated the heavens. He hated them for being unfair, for always targeting him. They didn't just want to exterminate him but also take away every person by his side. He also hated himself. He hated his weakness. He had clearly accounted for every possible thing, but he had still been one move off, causing Little Snow to sacrifice his life. As Long Chen furiously roared, his blood key continued to boil and all his skin split apart. His bloody appearance was ghastly. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen in his crazy state, they felt like blades were stabbing their hearts. They all knew about the deep feelings between Long Chen and Little Snow. They knew what kind of pain he must be feeling right now. Although Long Chen liked to laugh and joke normally, he cared deeply about every single person by his side. He would be willing to put his life on the line for any one of them, willing to fight against any powerful enemies but he wasn't able to endure the pain of losing someone close to him. Green Dragon Battle Armor, get the hell out here. Long Chen roared furiously, and more blood gushed out of him. Even the ground around him turned scarlet. Boom. The entire eastern section of the immemorial path trembled intensely. With Long Chen at the center, a huge key pillar soared into the sky, blowing apart the clouds. What? Zhu Yu, Ji Chang Kong, and Yu Chang Heo were all horrified. He had clearly already reached his peak power. So how was it that his power was now suddenly growing so explosively? At the same time, within the boundless cosmos, a pair of large eyes slowly opened. The gaze pierced through countless stars to look into a world that looked like a speck of dust. Too slow. The master of those eyes indifferently sighed and once more closed its eyes, as if unconcerned with anything. As the huge key pillar soared into the clouds, it was like the boulders became weightless. They began to float into the sky, and then in front of everyone's appalled gazes, they were crushed into nothingness. This is too crazy. Are all young people this brainless now? They'll throw their lives away at a whim? Or is it that I really have become old and can't keep up with the ages? Looking at Long Chen covered in blood, the eastern wasteland bell sighed. Boom. Suddenly, another explosion shook the land. A huge storm erupted and then disappeared just as fast. The dust in the air settled, and the world returned to calm. What? 
When the dust settled and they saw that figure, everyone was shocked. Long Chen was covered in green scales, a dragon-shaped mark on his forehead. The divine aura he was releasing made it feel like he truly was a reincarnated dragon. Kill. Long Chen's roar was like thunder through the air. With a single stamp of the foot, he arrived in front of the flame devil. There was no longer any aura coming from his body, nor were there any spiritual yuan fluctuations, as his spiritual yuan was completely exhausted. The only thing left to him was the power of his physical body. In his rage, in his fury, in his craziness, Long Chen had instantly refined the remaining 20% of the green dragon essence blood to summon the dragon blood body tempering art's strongest state, the green dragon battle armor. According to his normal speed, Long Chen would have needed two or three more months to refine the rest of the essence blood. For him to instantly refine it all was truly impetuous. But Long Chen was in a berserk state. He hated the Eastern Wasteland Bell for not helping, and so he wanted to personally get revenge for Little Snow. The fortunate thing was that Long Chen's body was strong enough to bear the impact of refining the remaining essence blood. The reason why his skin had split apart was because the dragon blood body tempering art's goal was to force out his ordinary blood. Once all his blood contained dragon blood essence, he could finally summon the green dragon battle armor. He was now completely covered in dragon scales, and even without any spiritual yuan supporting him, just the dragon blood flowing within him gave him endless energy. Boom. Long Chen's fist collided with the flame devil's fist. What startled everyone was that cracking sounds rang out as the flame devil's arm broke. Its huge body shot back, tumbling across the ground. Return Little Snow's life. Long Chen's voice was full of killing intent, and he chased. He caught its tail. The flame devil was smashed into the ground repeatedly by Long Chen. The ground crumbled with each smash. The flame devil roared, and a huge globe condensed in its mouth. This was one of its innate divine abilities. But before it could release it, Long Chen kicked his jaw. A muffled bang rang out as the globe exploded in its mouth. The flame devil's jaw blew off. Half its head collapsed. That had been an extremely powerful attack and for it to explode inside its own body, its destructive power was horrifying. Die. Long Chen jumped up, and with his hands clasped, he smashed them toward the flame devil's forehead. Boom. The flame devil's huge head exploded from Long Chen's attack. Broken bones and fresh blood flew through the air. Long Chen stood on top the flame devil's corpse, his scales flickering. Kill. Even after killing the flame devil, Long Chen's fury didn't lessen. He shot toward the distant Yu Changheo. He had no spiritual yuan and couldn't use his movement technique, but just relying on the power of his physical body, his speed was not slower than before. He arrived in front of Yu Changheo in an instant, smashing his fist at him. Yu Changheo was horrified. As soon as Long Chen had looked at him, he had begun fleeing. Not only were the ancient races retreating, but even the corrupt path was running. As for the righteous experts, they had long since disappeared. It went without saying that righteous experts were blessed with the best vision. As soon as Long Chen had sent the flame devil flying with a single punch, they had begun stealthily slipping away. As for the ancient races and the corrupt path, they had just been foolishly watching. Only now that Long Chen had turned his sights to them did they recover from their dumbfounded state. Yu Chang Heo hastily circulated his essentially exhausted spiritual Yuan to activate his bow. This peak grade treasure item bow was blown apart with a single blow because it didn't have enough spiritual yuan supporting it. At the same time, Yu Chang Heo's body exploded. Now that Long Chen had summoned the green dragon battle armor, the power of his physical body could no longer be described as human. With the power of a green dragon supporting him, no one could stop him. The bow was shattered, and the person was dead. The ancient race's peak experts had all fallen now. Within Long Chen's primal chaos space, Another heavenly Dao fruit appeared on the heavenly Dao tree. This heavenly Dao fruit had four Dao marks. But Long Chen was still lost in the pain of losing little snow. He didn't even notice that. The only thing in his heart was a desire to slaughter. He wanted to slaughter all his enemies. The other ancient race experts were fleeing for their lives. Long Chen was just about to chase them when he felt the world spinning around him. He almost collapsed on the ground. His scales vanished and the feeling of boundless energy also vanished. Long Chen felt a bout of weakness overwhelm him. He didn't even have the power to stand. Long Chen. Two soft bodies caught Long Chen. Once the scales vanished, it revealed Long Chen's original body, covered in blood. Seeing him in that state caused Men Qi and Tang Wan Er to softly weep. I want to see Little Snow. He had terrified his enemies, but Long Chen was still lost in his sorrow. Little Snow was his companion who had been with him from the start. 
but they had been parted just like this. No matter how many enemies he killed, he wouldn't be able to revive Little Snow. He tenderly rubbed Little Snow's head. Little Snow was lying on the ground, looking extremely peaceful. It was like he was just sleeping. Despite trying to hold back his tears, he couldn't stop them. Little Snow was motionless. He would never move again. Men Qi, Tang Wan Er, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Gu Ran, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were also crying. Little Snow wasn't just Long Chen's houseboat. He had been a companion who had fought through life and death with them. We'll definitely kill all those bastards for Little Snow. Especially that bastard Ji Chang Kong. I'll tear him to pieces. Guo Ran clenched his teeth. If it hadn't been for Ji Chang Kong who had teleported away Lai Long, Little Snow wouldn't have died. Eight peak experts had joined hands to kill Long Chen, but six of them had been killed. Right now, the only ones remaining were Zhu Yu and Ji Chang Kong. The debt for killing Little Snow would have to fall to them. Furthermore, they were the main ringleaders that caused Little Snow's death. Regretfully, they had already fled. Ji Chang Kong had fled especially early, and if the two of them wanted to hide in the huge immemorial path, it would be basically impossible to find them. Long Chen, don't feel too bad. In truth, I wanted to interfere back then, but Little Snow stopped me. You've been with Little Snow for so long, so I'm sure you understand what he was thinking. The Eastern Wasteland Bell sighed. Long Chen nodded. His fury had passed, so his rationality had returned. Little Snow had already been aware that it wasn't able to keep up. He had used this method to choose his own way to leave, giving himself a dignified death. With Little Snow present, Long Chen wouldn't accept other houseboats. Thus, Little Snow had chosen to leave so that Long Chen could find a stronger helper. Little Snow didn't want to implicate Long Chen, but Long Chen only felt grief. Had Little Snow really thought that once he was dead, he would be able to accept new houseboats? An indescribable sorrow filled him. Little Snow didn't understand him well enough. Buzz. A scarlet crystal core appeared in front of Long Chen. Long Chen's expression became furious. Don't get mad. Although Little Snow died, I sealed his soul and memories in his crystal core. In the future, if you can find a magical beast with limitless potential, you can merge it with this crystal core. Then Little Snow could count as being reborn, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen was delighted to hear that. He carefully received the crystal core. At the same time, he felt ashamed for his previous rudeness toward the Eastern Wasteland Bell. The battle's over. Everyone can go back and rest, suggested the Stone Tribe's leader. Everyone hastily began to clean up the battlefield. Chapter 927 Preparing to Leave Translator Born to be within the Stone Tribe's ancestral land, Long Chen was sitting alone beside a small lake. He was as still as the motionless water. It had already been a month since the battle, and Long Chen had fully recovered. He had taken a great risk in summoning the Green Dragon battle armor last time, and although he had succeeded, it had been extremely damaging to his body. The Green Dragon essence blood had been so domineering that it had almost broken his meridians. Fortunately, the Flame Devil's corpse had been thrown into the primal chaos space and devoured by the Black Soul, giving him enough life energy to recover. Guo Ran and the others fully recovered in less than three days. After refining the rank 4 heavenly Deo fruits Long Chen had given them, they had all become rank 4 celestials. The high-spirited Guo Ran had just been about to let everyone to look for Zhu Yu, Ji Chang Kong, and the others as revenge for Little Snow. But Long Chen had stopped him. There was no meaning behind such an action. As long as they weren't stupid, they would have hidden themselves. Trying to find someone who was hiding in a place as large as the immemorial path was no different than searching for a needle in an ocean. It was just a waste of time. Although Menki and Tang Wan Er had accompanied him while healing, Long Chen hadn't returned to his lively self. He gradually became a person who liked to be silent. Little Snow's death made him feel like a boulder was crushing his heart. It was hard for him to breathe. He gently rubbed the scarlet crystal core in his hand. That was Little Snow's crystal core. His memories and soul were sealed within it. Although he knew that if he could find a suitable houseboat, he could erase that houseboat's soul and allow Little Snow to be reborn. That didn't change the fact that Little Snow had died. Last time, it was Ye's Hikyu and Lu Fanger who had died. Ye's Hikyu had been lucky, and a powerful expert had brought her away. Long Chen had sensed her aura, so he knew she had been reborn and was more powerful than ever. But Lu Fanger was gone forever. Men Qi hadn't been able to bear burying her, and she had instead used a crystal coffin to keep her body by her side forever. Legend said that if a corpse wasn't buried in the ground, its soul wouldn't enter the cycle of reincarnation. Then the soul would forever guard the person it was with. 
When Meng Qi thought no one was around, she would occasionally look at her dead sister and silently weep. Long Chen had noticed her several times like that, but he had never disturbed her. Everyone had their own weak spots. Everyone had times when they were helpless, but people could only do their best to hide their weaknesses and instead expose their sharp fangs as they fought against fate. Yes Hikyu had been lucky. Little Snow had also been lucky that the Eastern Wasteland Bell was present, but something like luck wasn't reliable. Long Chen wasn't someone who could hope to live off luck forever. Perhaps what is required is another reign of terror. Otherwise, some people will never learn their lesson and will constantly try to scheme against me behind my back, said Long Chen as he gently stroked Little Snow's crystal core. The Flame Devil had been killed. Six of the eight peak experts had been killed. But Long Chen was still filled with anger and sullenness. He just didn't know who his hate was targeted towards. He felt like he was a bloodthirsty devil king who had constantly been suppressing his own urge for slaughter. But now, he was feeling like he couldn't suppress it any longer. He had to release his true self. Senior, no matter how strong the enemies I encounter, you can still help me handle them. Correct? Asked Long Chen. Of course. The Eastern Wasteland Bell's response was extremely direct. Then good. Next time, I'll let my name resound throughout the entire Martial Heaven continent. Whether it's a glorious name or an infamous name, I will make sure it becomes known through slaughter. I'll kill until those people scheming against me are finally afraid and will tremble upon hearing the name Long Chen. He continued to stroke Little Snow's crystal core gently, but his voice was full of killing intent. I know that persuading you is useless, but I'll just warn you one more time. Take it easy, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell a bit helplessly. To it, Long Chen was becoming more and more terrifying. Sometimes he was frighteningly calm, sometimes he was frighteningly crazy. Furthermore, he had found that Long Chen was a determined person. What he had decided, no one could change. Long Chen. Suddenly, a soft voice rang out. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er walked over. They looked like two fairies who had walked out of a painting. They sat beside him, holding his arms. They were full of worry, as they had never seen Long Chen in such a slump. Little Snow's death had been a huge blow to him. Sorry, I've made you worry. Long Chen felt a bit guilty. Little Snow's death had been a constant weight on his mind, and this entire time, he hadn't been able to escape his sullen mood. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er had done their best to cheer him up during this time. In fact, they had even slept in the same bed with him, subtly indicating that they would have been willing to go through with certain acts. However, in his pain and guilt, Long Chen hadn't been interested. The two of them had been willing to break their promise with their other sisters in the hope that it would allow Long Chen to walk out of the shadow he was under. That made Long Chen grateful and ashamed. With his kind of conduct, he really had been blessed by his ancestors to have such beauties by his side. Long Chen, do you feel better? asked Tang Wan Er. She and Men Qi were the same. They were worried Long Chen would be affected by a heart devil. I'm better. Everything's better. I've already thought things through. Long Chen smiled and pulled the two of them into his embrace. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er both blushed with his arms wrapped around their waists. His actions made a strange feeling rise in their hearts, one that was very warm and very safe. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er, one on the left, and one on the right, leaned against Long Chen's chest. Seeing Long Chen smile, they felt like the light after the rain had finally appeared. Long Chen, you scoundrel, do you know how worried we were for you? While in Long Chen's embrace, Tang Wan Er gave him a vicious pinch. But Long Chen had finished refining the green dragon essence blood, so his body was extremely strong. Even if he didn't do anything to resist, treasure items wouldn't be able to easily injure him. After a few pinches and finding that she wasn't able to cause any damage, then seeing Long Chen's evil smile, Tang Wan Er suddenly opened her mouth. Aya, Long Chen let out a miserable cry. His earlobe had been bitten by Tang Wan Er ruthlessly. He found that even the dragon blood body tempering art had its flaws. The defense of his ears hadn't increased much at all, so being bitten was still very painful. Scoundrel. We were worried to death because of you. How can you smile? Tang Wan Er felt wronged. Although she was a fiery woman and very opinionated, her heart was entirely Long Chen's. For Long Chen to become silent and sullen, she had felt like the sky was falling. Suddenly, a warm mouth ruthlessly pressed against Tang Wan Er's lips. Her body shook as his smell entered her nose. She was instantly lost in that emotional feeling. She tightly held on to him when she suddenly realized something was off. She struggled to get away. But Long Chen held on tightly. After a moment, Aya, were you born in the year of the dog? Long Chen suddenly felt a burst of pain as his lips were bitten by Tang Wan Er. 
He even tasted blood. He had found another weak point in his defense. Bastard. How can you bully me right in front of Big Sister Menki? Wait. No. Even if Sister Menki isn't here, you still can't bully me. Cried Tang Wanur. Her face was much thinner than Long Chen's. Although she had liked the feeling just now, Menki had been right there. She would rather express her anger than express her willingness. Fine then. Long Chen directly turned to give Menki a deep kiss. Menki immediately turned red and tried to pull away. But how could she, a soul cultivator, escape his grasp? Bastard. Release big sister Menki. You can't bully her. Shouted Tang Wanur. Her fists were like a tempest of rain. But her attack power was essentially zero. She grabbed Long Chen's neck and began some familiar motions. Stop. Stop. Long Chen hastily let go of Men Qi. Only then did Tang Wan'er take her mouth away from his ear. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were both red. The three of them didn't say anything. Instead just looking at each other. Long Chen suddenly burst into laughter. Scoundrel. They both reddened. But they were full of delight and hope. Long Chen had finally returned to normal. So they could finally put down their worries. The next few days were peaceful. The stone tribe leader handed all the spoils of the battlefield to Long Chen. Long Chen had his people pick out a portion of the treasure items useful to themselves, and the rest was all left to the aboriginals. They also didn't keep a single medicinal pill. As for the people who had followed Feng Jian to help, each one of them obtained two high-grade treasure items and several middle-grade ones. They were incredibly grateful, especially since they came from poor origins. They had never thought they would one day have a high-grade treasure item. Long Chen had taken less than 1% of the spoils, and the wealth left to the aboriginals was truly an indescribable amount. That battle had been too immense. The stone tribe's leader knew Long Chen's character, so he didn't say anything. He directly gathered all the tribe leaders and gave him all the Yuan spirit stones they had in storage. Long Chen also didn't stand on courtesy and received them all. The days passed one by one. Long Chen was waiting for Lord Heavenie's return. According to the stone tribe's leader, Lord Heavenly had gone to another region, and no one knew when he would return. Only Lord Heavenly had the ability to cross the barriers into other regions. Suddenly, there came a day when clouds filled the sky of the immemorial path. The void began to shake, and the jade tablets Long Chen and the others held lit up. It was time for everyone to leave. Boss, let's leave quickly and go for a slaughter, shouted Guo Ran. He summoned his armor, killing intent erupting out of him. He was ready for a good fight. Chapter 928 The Change in the Sect Translator Born to be Lord Heavenie has returned. Just as everyone was about to activate their jade plates and leave, a shout rang out. Long Chen hastily stopped everyone. A path opened within the crowd, leading to the transportation formation. Lord Heavenie had finally appeared. Lord Heavenie. Long Chen quickly cupped his fists toward him. Long Chen was still grateful to him. If it hadn't been for the identity plate he had given him. He and Yu Ziaokian would have been killed back then. It was also because of Lord Heavenie's guidance that the aboriginals had formed such a strong relationship with him. Long Chen was extremely moved by the aboriginals. They were simple and honest. Compared to the righteous path which was filled with deception and internal conflict, Long Chen would prefer a place like this. I suppose I made it on time. Here, take this. Lord Heavenie looked weary from travel, but he tossed Long Chen a black jar, which had an ancient seal on it. It appeared to have been sealed for countless years. 10,000 spirit blood? This fellow knows how to spend wealth. Long Chen, what he's giving you is a priceless treasure. This 10,000 spirit blood is an artificial spirit blood made during the immortal era. Although it's not on the same level as a true spirit blood, as long as a rank 4 celestial absorbs it, it will evolve into spirit blood that matches their elemental attribute, benefiting them for the rest of their life, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen only heard the Eastern Wasteland Bell's voice after receiving the jar. When he did, he couldn't help but feel that it was incredibly heavy. Looking at Lord Heavenie's weary appearance, he didn't know what to say. Senior, did you leave in order to get this? A sour feeling welled up within Long Chen's heart. If Lord Heavenie hadn't left, then with his intelligence, he definitely would have seen through Ji Chang Kong's scheme. Then the hundreds of thousands of warriors from the aboriginals wouldn't have been sacrificed. Child. Don't overthink things. As an unrevealed heavenly genius, it is fated for you to rise like a shooting star. Considering the cycle of karma, everything that I've done is for us. Go. The dragon swims through the sea. The pen flies through the clouds. We will definitely meet again one day. Lord Heavenie patted Long Chen on the shoulder like a kind elder comforting a child that was about to go on a long journey. 
Long Chen took a deep breath and put the black jar into the primal chaos space. He bowed deeply toward Lord Heavenly. Following him, Men Qi and the others also bowed. This kindness is something I, Long Chen, will remember. I'm confident as well that we will meet again. Xiao Fei and the others waved goodbye as fiercely as they could. Long Chen's unrevealed appearance during that shocking battle had made him the idol of every youngster. Now that their idol was leaving, they were full of unwillingness. Long Chen swept his gaze over their reluctant eyes. After that, he finally steeled himself and crushed his jade plate. A rune erupted out of it and enveloped him. He instantly disappeared from their sight. One after another, they disappeared. They couldn't help but feel disappointed and frustrated. Don't sigh. The current immemorial path is not the old immemorial path. Because Long Chen tore apart the dome of the heavens, he has released the aura of the outside world. The energy and loss that the immemorial path was lacking have been made up for. In other words, our cultivation bases will no longer be suppressed to the foundation forging realm. Work hard on cultivating and stepping into higher realms. Long Chen might need us one day. Lord Heavenly looked up at the sky, a faint smile on his face. Long Chen felt his feet hit the ground. He was standing in the midst of the original entrance. When he had entered, there had been a sea of people. But now that he was coming out, there were pitifully few people present. The occasional people that were present all looked at Long Chen like he was a demon and instantly fled. People appeared one by one. However, Feng Jian didn't appear as he didn't come from this entrance. Of the people that had helped Long Chen, only five had come from this side. After exiting, they waved goodbye to Long Chen. Boss, something's wrong, said Guo Ran as he looked around. Yes, I agree. Why didn't the various sects send experts to receive us? Did something happen? Long Chen nodded in agreement. The fact that Ji Chang Kong and the others weren't present was very normal. They had most likely immediately rushed out of the immemorial path and fled. Long Chen had thought that Ji Chang Kong would ally himself with the various sects experts to surround him and attack. But this was out of his expectations. But the righteous sects hadn't sent anyone to receive their disciples. Even Ouyang Kiyuaya wasn't present. That was curious. Let's go. We can ask around once we return to the Zuan Shindeo sect. Men Qi summoned the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix. Under her constant care during this time, the Blood Phoenix had broken through to reach the 8th rank. The 8th rank Blood Phoenix was even larger and faster than before. The three spatial storms they met were easily pierced through. In just a day, they reached the Zuan Shindeo sect's territory. But as soon as they arrived, a loud alert rang out. The Zuan Shindeo sect's grand protective formation activated, shocking everyone. What was going on? Who dares to attack the Zuan Shindeo sect? An icy shout rang out from within the formation. A white robed elder stood within it, staring vigilantly at the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix. Although he didn't recognize it, he could sense how terrifying it was. Long Chen jumped off and looked inside the formation. There were only six sea expansion experts inside that he could see. He frowned. Why were there so few people inside the sect? Furthermore, he saw that many places showed signs of damage and were in the midst of being repaired. It was like an immense battle had been fought here. I am Long Chen. Release the grand formation, shouted Long Chen. He recognized that person. He was from the Shu family and was at the peak of sea expansion. He had once been in the running for the Shu family's future head. But this person had repeatedly targeted Shu Wuhan, and in her fury, she had left the Shu family to go to the 36th Super Monastery. You, you are Long Chen? Who knows whether or not you're a fake? This is an extremely tense time, so you can't enter the sect for now, he shouted. But he was clearly a bit panicked. Courting death, Long Chen snorted and flew forward. He smashed a single fist onto the Grand Protective Formation, and it shattered. Long Chen, are you rebelling Pao? His reply was a slap in the face. He vomited blood and all his teeth shot out. He fainted. This was after Long Chen had held back. If he had increased his power just a bit, that old man's head would have exploded. Speak. What happened? Long Chen turned to look at the other 5C expansion experts. Seeing Long Chen shatter the grand protective formation with a single punch, they were all horrified. One of them hastily said, A month ago, the corrupt path gathered all their power and, the truth was that a month ago, the corrupt path had suddenly launched a sneak attack on the 30. Six super monasteries as well as the Zuan Shindeo sect this sneak attack was of an unprecedented scale. All the corrupt path's elites had moved out. They had caused heavy casualties to the Zuan Shindeo sect, and the entire righteous path entered a state of battle. No one knew who would be the next target. Fortunately, 
the majority of the 36 supermonasteries elites had been gathered at the Zhuanshan Dao sect that was a joint agreement between the monastery heads, as they were part of a welcoming ceremony for the sect master. Ouyang Qiuayu had left for a trip to the Central Plains after sending Long Chen and the others into the immemorial path. This was an official meeting that happened once every four years. The various sect masters would report what had happened during this time, and after that, the head sect would give them various material benefits. That was something very much worthy of celebration to their branch sect in past years. There had never been a problem. Only this time did the corrupt path suddenly launch a berserk attack that caused the 36 supermonasteries to suffer tragic losses. As for the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the attack on it had been so fierce that the Grand Protective Formation had been destroyed. Their enemy's cultivation bases had just been too high. The Vice Sect Master and Chu Wuhan who had just advanced to Foundation Forging had gone all out, and only then had they managed to make sure the Zhuanshan Dao sect wasn't completely destroyed. But the sect had suffered unprecedented damage. The Vice Sect Master had died, and Chu Wuhan had taken heavy injuries under the attack of two Foundation Forging experts. In that incredibly critical moment, Ouyang Qiuayu had actually returned a day early. When she saw her home was under siege, she had furiously slaughtered her enemies. The corrupt path had immediately retreated when Ouyang Qiuayu had arrived. But Ouyang Qiuayu had still managed to slaughter a huge mass of their experts. Seeing the half-destroyed Zhuanshan Dao sect, learning the Vice Sect Master had died, and finding that Xu Wuhan's soul had been injured and she had descended into slumber, Ouyang Qiuayu had exploded in fury. She had immediately sent out a call to summon all the righteous path's experts to launch a counterattack. But what infuriated her even more was that all the various large sects found convenient excuses not to help her. She realized these opportunists had decided that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's core had been too heavily damaged by this attack and would quickly collapse. So they didn't want to get too close to the Zhuanshan Dao sect even amongst those smaller sects under the Zhuanshan Dao sect's protection. Only a few of them supported them with their full power. Furious. Just like that, Ouyang Qiuayu led the Zhuanshan Dao sect's surviving elites and a pitiful number of experts to slaughter a path into the corrupt path's territory. Apparently, Ouyang Qiuayu had attacked three of the corrupt path's smaller strongholds, and in the midst of conquering the fourth stronghold, she had encountered a large-scale counterattack by the corrupt path. Both sides were in a deadlock. Hearing that Xu Wuhan had been injured, Long Chen immediately rushed to her side. Xu Wuhan was pale and withered with death key over her forehead. She was pitifully haggard. When Long Chen arrived, a maid was in the midst of feeding Xu Wuhan medicine with a small spoon. She couldn't swallow, so she could only allow the medicinal liquid to enter bit by bit. Long Chen suddenly grabbed the bowl of medicine. He looked at it with a bewildered expression of disbelief. Sniffing it, he shouted, Who prepared this medicine? Chapter 929 Absorbing 10,000 Spirit Blood Translator Born to be Long Chen's shout was full of killing intent. The three monastery heads who had led Long Chen to this room all jumped. Long Chen's killing intent was absolutely terrifying. It was berserk and icy. They felt like the tips of millions of blades were pointed toward them. And with a single thought, those blades would pierce their bodies. I, I don't know, said the maid. She was pale. With her Xi'anshan cultivation base, in front of the current Long Chen, even just speaking was extremely difficult. Monastery head Xu Qingfen was in charge of it. Could it be? Muttered one of the three monastery heads. Bring that idiot over, said Long Chen icily. One of the monastery heads obediently ran off. Long Chen put aside the bowl of medicinal and gently placed a medicinal pill into Xu Wuhan's mouth. Her face had lost all signs of life right now. Wrinkles she had never possessed had appeared. Let me. Men Qi gently pressed her hand over Xu Wuhan's forehead. Her spiritual strength carefully entered her body. Xu Wuhan's spiritual strength had been essentially exhausted now. She had reached the point of a lamp out of oil. Without more spiritual strength to nourish her, her soul would have completely dissipated. Because her spiritual strength had dried up, Men Qi had to give her new spiritual strength slowly and carefully. Finally, her spiritual strength gained control over part of Xu Wuhan's nerves, and she made Xu Wuhan swallow the medicinal pill Long Chen had given her. At the same time, Men Qi's spiritual strength spread throughout Xu Wuhan's body. Her body was in a quasi-death state right now and needed to be awoken. The medicinal pill Long Chen had given her had been personally refined by him. Its medicinal effect was extremely strong. With Men Qi's help, it was rapidly absorbed. A rosy color gradually appeared in her pale face. Long Chen, what are you doing? Xu Qingfen was escorted over. 
Long Chen's slap hadn't just knocked him unconscious. He had also sealed his spiritual yuan, and he was powerless to resist. Long Chen didn't say a word. He directly pressed a finger against Xu Qingfeng's forehead. His spiritual strength erupted into Xu Qingfeng's mind C. Xu Qingfeng's body quivered, and then his eyes became distant. The other three monastery heads were horrified. Long Chen had directly used a soul sark without saying anything, but they didn't dare say anything. They were aware of many things, and now that the devil king Long Chen had returned, they didn't dare to go against him. Yu Deshu, Xiao Fu, Li Wingxiao, Jiang Huren, Long Chen listed off 17 names, causing the three monastery heads' hearts to pound. Bring them all here. I, the three of them were shocked. Although those three weren't monastery heads, they possessed extremely high status in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Some of them were even closely related by blood to Ouyang Qiuayu. There's no need for the three of you to do it. Guo Ran, Yu Zifeng, go with them and handle it, said Long Chen coldly. The three of them were helpless. Although Long Chen was just a disciple who had only recently entered sea expansion, and he also didn't possess an official post or status, they didn't dare to speak. They felt that if they did say something, Long Chen would directly kill them. They quickly led Guo Ran and Yu Zifeng away. The reason Long Chen wanted them dead was because they had participated in this matter. He didn't care what their goal was, but since they had clearly known that this would harm Xu Wuhan, he had decided they could disappear from this world forever. The most infuriating thing to him was that two of those people were from the law enforcement hall. They had both been bought by Xu Qingfeng. When Ouyang Qiuayu had left, Xu Wuhan had been unconscious from her heavy injuries. She had needed to rest her soul. Ouyang Qiuayu knew about the unending battles between the four families, so she had intentionally left some people to look after her. She had left behind four of the Shu family's monastery heads to look after the Zhuanshan Dao sect. She would never have imagined that Shu Qingfen would actually be so deranged as to kill Shu Wuhan. He foolishly thought that once Shu Wuhan was dead, he would become the next Shu family head. For safety purposes, he had pulled in a large group of people. Using both threats and bribes, he had pulled them to his side. This way, once Shu Wuhan died, they could all testify that they had done their best. But Xu Wuhan's illness had suddenly taken a turn for the worse and she had died. The three monastery heads actually had known about this matter. They hadn't been willing to go along with it, but they also hadn't dared to go against Xu Qingfeng. It was precisely because they hadn't participated that they could keep their lives now. It's done. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, Guo Ran and the others returned. The three monastery heads were shocked. Amongst the people Long Chen had listed, nine had been sea expansion experts but they had been killed by a wave of the hand by Guo Ran. They probably hadn't even understood what was happening before they were killed. Furthermore, when Guo Ran killed people, he was frighteningly calm. It was like he was just killing ants. There was no change in his expression at all. Long Chen nodded and continued looking at Xu Wuhan. The medicinal energy was beginning to activate. Xu Qingfeng had been extremely sinister. He had added soul poison into her medicine noveloon.com in the state where her soul was damaged. She needed slow nourishment. Although that poison's effect was extremely slow, it exhausted all her spiritual strength. Once she died, there would have been no way to find out what had been used. Long. Chen. Suddenly, Xu Wuhan opened her eyes. Her originally bright eyes were dark now, and her voice was harsh to the ears. Big sister, I'm here. Long Chen hastily held her hand. You're back. Good. I was worried about you. A gratified expression appeared in her eyes. Her face twitched as if she was trying to smile, but with her corpse-like face, there was no way to do so. Seeing that Xu Wuhan had escaped death, Long Chen sighed with relief and almost teared up. Xu Wuhan had always looked after him like she was his big sister. Although she would occasionally act fierce and reprimand him, it was all for his own good. Big sister was useless. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was shamed. I failed the sect master's mission. Tears leaked out of Xu Wuhan's eyes. She felt extremely guilty for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's heavy losses. Big sister, it's fine. This enmity is something I'll repay for you. Just peacefully heal. You're tired and sleepy. When you wake up, everything will be fine, said Long Chen softly. He glanced toward Men Qi. She immediately understood and changed her spiritual strength. Xu Wuhan immediately felt a bout of sleepiness and fell into a deep slumber. Get me a map and tell me where the sect master is. A monastery head immediately took out a map. Long Chen quickly saw his target. I'm leaving my big sister with you. If something happens to her, don't even think about living. When I kill people, I don't need to give any reason. After saying that, 
Long Chen and the others jumped onto the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix, flying northwards. Although he was a bit worried about Chu Wuhan, he knew that with his medicinal pill and the replenishment of Menki's spiritual strength, she would quickly wake up. Once she was awake, although she wouldn't have her peak power, her safety would be guaranteed. Furthermore, he was also sure that those three wouldn't dare to do anything to Shu Wuhan. They didn't have the gods. Otherwise, they would have been on the same side as Shu Qingfeng. It was precisely because they didn't have any gods that they hadn't participated in that matter. Right now, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's main power was attacking the corrupt path stronghold, and the disciples had been transported to a secret location. The current Zhuangshan Dao sect was almost an empty city. The corrupt path's power and attention were also concentrated on their strongholds, so the chance of them attacking the Zhuangshan Dao sect was essentially zero. Looking at the map, it seems it'll take around a day of flying. There aren't any spatial walls this time, so it'll be a calm journey. Don't waste this time, everyone. Start refining the 10,000 spirit blood I've given you. It shouldn't be anything hard for you. Work hard, because we're going to deal a vicious blow this time, said Long Chen. Long Chen had given a drop of the 10,000 spirit blood to each one of them before. On their way back, the spatial walls had been too disruptive to refine it, but now that there were no more disruptions, they couldn't waste any more time. They all took out a drop of violet blood. In truth, the 10,000 spirit blood was a kind of guiding medicine. Once experts refined it, it would excavate a person's potential, bringing out their greatest power. For example, a cultivator might only possess a trace of earth energy that was normally useless. In this case, cultivating any earth attribute battle skill would be very difficult. But once they refined the 10,000 spirit blood, that trace of energy would become even purer, and they would become a true earth attribute cultivator. Everyone began refining the 10,000 spirit blood. There was no reaction when it entered their bodies, and it quickly spread throughout every inch of them. The first one to cause a reaction was Tang Wan'er. Her runes revolved around her. She was a powerful wind attribute cultivator, and the 10,000 spirit blood had only just entered her body when it merged with her wind energy. Practically invisible lines appeared on Tang Wan'er's runes. The 10,000 spirit blood was purifying her wind energy, and it was also changing it. Tang Wan'er originally possessed practically no spirit blood but she gradually became able to control spirit blood power. It was like a seed had landed in fertile soil and begun to germinate. From now on, Tang Wan'er would become an expert in command of spirit blood, and an extremely terrifying wind attribute spirit blood at that. Her bloodline power would make her even stronger. Following her, Men Qi, Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Guo Ran all entered similar states. There was no reaction after Wild consumed the 10,000 spirit blood. He just foolishly looked at Long Chen. Long Chen just smiled slightly. He had long since been prepared for this result. It wasn't strange. Wild's body was just too special. Long Chen looked into the distance, and killing intent surfaced in his eyes. It was time to flip the heavens. Chapter 930 The Slaughter Begins Translator Born to be kill. Blood splashed. Furious roars rang out. In front of thousands of corrupt experts. The Dragonblood Warriors were still releasing awe-inspiring killing intent. The Dragonblood Warriors were all at the peak of Xi'anshan. On a thousand-mile battlefield, they were on the right wing, surrounded by a mass of corrupt experts. Over half of these corrupt experts had reached sea expansion. The intense battle dyed the yellow ground red. We can't continue like this. Fuck that's how bastard. He intentionally left us here to draw the majority of their forces. If this continues, we won't be able to hold on roared one of the Dragonblood Legion's squad leaders. The Dragonblood Legion had been assigned to the right wing of the battlefield during the strategy meeting. Only once the battle began did they find out that the majority of their enemy's power was concentrated on them. At the front of the battlefield, Ouyang Kiyuaya was fighting two of the corrupt path's top experts. The void rumbled around them, making it so the others couldn't see their battle clearly. This was their third battle against this stronghold. The previous two times, the righteous path had been at an advantage, but this time, the corrupt path had clearly sent reinforcements. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts were all here along with some smaller sect's experts. That was an extremely strong force. There was a group of sea expansion experts blocking the majority of the other sea expansion elites from the corrupt path, but the corrupt path just had too many sea expansion experts. As a result, quite a few of them managed to get by and attack the Dragonblood Legion. What shocked everyone was that these peak Xi'anshan warriors were actually able to handle ten times their number. 
even when half of those enemies were sea expansion experts. Although they weren't elite sea expansion experts, they still weren't things that Xi'anchen disciples should have been able to handle, especially not in a 1 against 10 situation. However, this kind of intense battle was too exhausting. The Dragonblood warriors hadn't expanded their seas, so their spiritual Yuan was limited. They couldn't keep up with this intensity forever. After a day and night of fighting, their energy was starting to flag. Their situation was growing desperate. Talking about that now is useless. Boss should be arriving soon. So just endure it. We'll settle our debts then. Said another squad leader. In the back of the battlefield was the Zhao family's genius commander who had come up with the troop distribution. But even if the Zhao family was trying to intentionally harm them, they couldn't do anything about it now. Once their line buckled, the people behind them would be doomed. The entire army would be implicated. So they could only clench their teeth and endure. Fall back into the arched slaughter formation. Your main goal isn't to kill your enemies, but to survive, shouted a squad leader. He saw that they were still able to fight against their enemies, but they wouldn't be able to keep it up for much longer. Bastards, you have to form a barrier at the front. Hold the line, or the enemies will get by, shouted a person standing at the back of the troops. That was the genius commander from the Zhao family. He had been in command of multiple righteous and corrupt battles and had won despite many setbacks. He had plenty of experience. So he had naturally become the commander. Fuck your mother, Zhao idiot. Just wait until this over, cursed the squad leader. He ignored his orders, having everyone form a protective arc formation. They changed from offense to defense, making sure they could temporarily survive. He couldn't care too much anymore. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were all his brothers, and their lives were more important to him than his own. He wouldn't allow any of them to fall. Bastard, you dare to ignore orders. Just wait halfway through his furious roar. A golden light shot through his body and he exploded. That light hadn't come from the front, but from behind. In other words, it had come from the side of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Let's not wait. We're too busy to listen to your long-windedness. An icy voice rang throughout the battlefield. Boss, hearing that voice, the Dragonblood warriors immediately felt their blood heat up. That voice was too familiar, and they cheered, their morale surging. Long Chen and the others appeared in the air. With his black robes billowing, it was like the arrival of a death god. Everyone, don't panic. An idiot commander's death signifies that victory is near said Long Chen lightly, calming the uproar caused by the death of their commander. All the experts from the Zhuanshan Dao sect were affected by Long Chen's arrival. He was the leader of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's junior generation, and his prestige was extremely high. In the younger generation, his prestige might even surpass the sect master. Good job, brothers. Long Chen gave the Dragonblood warriors a thumbs up. To remain undefeated one against ten gratified him. Leave the rest to us. Brothers, just watch the show. Guo Ran was the first to charge out. A flashy golden crossbow in his hands. The crossbow shook and released golden rays that exploded amongst their enemies. The corrupt experts in the middle of attacking the Dragonblood warriors were blown up in large clumps. Heavens, the Dragonblood warriors' jaws dropped. The fierce corrupt experts that they had had such difficulty with were nothing in front of Guo Ran. With just 10 arrows, hundreds of them were killed. Guo Ran's awe-inspiring power shook the entire battlefield. He immediately drew everyone's attention. He loudly shouted, I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon. If you want a chivalrous hero, you can come find Aya. Before Guo Ran could report his name, he was sent flying into the corrupt path's army by Long Chen. He couldn't stand him right now. Everyone jumped in fright. Because of Long Chen, Guo Ran had flown right into the battle of the Elite Sea Expansion Experts. Don't just watch. You all have important work to do. Long Chen returned to the Dragonblood Warriors, ignoring Guo Ran's plight. Great Soul Barrier, Men Qi formed hand seals, and a huge spiritual barrier enveloped them. People outside were only able to see a curtain of light around them, but they were unable to see inside. Guo Ran grumbled. Why couldn't you just let me finish the last three words? Boss, I wasn't done yet. Kill. The corrupt experts were first startled at a person suddenly being kicked into their midst, but then they quickly recovered and attacked. Kill your mother, raged Guo Ran. His fury from having his poser act interrupted now fell onto the corrupt experts in front of him. Two golden sabers appeared in his hands and he hacked the person shouting in two. I, Guo Ran, am right here. Whoever dares can come at me. With his two sabers dancing in the air, Guo Ran started a slaughter. 
The two sabers were a pair of treasure items he had obtained within the immemorial path. Paired weapons on the level of a treasure item were extremely rare. After he had added them to his set of armor, they hadn't even been damaged during the huge battle in the immemorial path. Thus, it could be seen just how powerful they were. Now that they were just facing corrupt experts who at most possessed low-grade treasure items, he cut through any resistance easily. In an instant, over ten of the corrupt path C expansion experts were killed, shocking them. They hastily retreated, looking at the armored monstrosity that was Guoran. The Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Righteous Paths experts were all shocked. Novaloon.com The Vanguard. Hold the line and slowly retreat. Long Chen's voice suddenly resounded throughout the battlefield. He appeared out of the spiritual barrier, looking down on the entire field. The battlefield contained tens of thousands of experts. But when he compared it to the battle fought in the immemorial path, Long Chen felt like it was nothing more than child's play. Long Chen wanted all the Righteous Paths people to retreat from the battle, as they were too weak. There were even Meridian opening disciples fighting on their side. Just now, he had gathered the Dragon Blood Legion and distributed the 10,000 Spirit Blood, Divine Mortal Molting Elixir, Heavenly Deo Fruits, and Sea Expanding Pills to them all. They were to absorb the first three things as fast as possible and then get ready to attack Sea Expansion. Of course, those treasures were too important, and so he had Menki summon a barrier to block other people's vision. He watched as Guo Ran's addition to the battlefield caused the whole battle to become imbalanced. Just on his own, he drew all the experts' attention. Many of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's monastery heads were freed up and went to help other squads that were in a dangerous situation. The tempo of the battle slowed down quite a bit. Those at Xianshan and below, retreat out of the battle, shouted Long Chen. What? The Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts couldn't believe their ears. If all Xianshan experts and below left, then they would only have a few hundred people left on the battlefield. Listen to Long Chen. Those below sea expansion. Retreat. A booming voice rang out from the air. It was Ouyang Qiuayu. Ouyang Qiuayu was fighting two corrupt experts who had both reached foundation forging and were extremely strong. They had intentionally distanced themselves from the battlefield and were fighting in the air. Hearing Ouyang Qiuayu, no one hesitated any longer. They all retreated, leaving behind only sea expansion experts. This sudden change caught the corrupt path completely off guard, but looking at Long Chen standing in the air, for some unknown reason, they felt like they shouldn't approach him. It was like getting one step closer to him was getting one step closer to death. The corrupt experts gathered the majority of their power on Guo Ran, but even in the face of hundreds of sea expansion experts, Guo Ran was unstoppable. The main thing was that this armor was too shameless. All their attacks were unable to break it. Thus, the corrupt experts could only bitterly endure. After a moment, the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the smaller sects tens of thousands of experts had mostly all retreated into the distance. They were perplexed, not knowing what Long Chen was thinking. Long Chen icily looked at the sky. His heart shook, and he suddenly looked at the spiritual barrier below him. With a stamp of his foot, he shot toward Ouyang Qiuayu. What? Everyone was shocked. Long Chen actually wanted to join a battle of foundation forging experts? Had he gone mad? Chapter 931 Unable to bear a single blow translator. Born to be with a single step. Long Chen arrived at Ouyang Qiuayu's side. Everyone was startled. Ouyang Qiuayu was fighting against two old monsters from the corrupt path. It was an incredibly imposing sight. And any sea expansion experts that entered their scope would be blown apart. Sorry, I'm very busy. Don't mind me. Long Chen directly charged at one of the corrupt path's old monsters. The two of them were both late foundation forging experts. With their full power released, space was constantly twisting around them. That was the specific power of foundation forging experts. Foundation forging experts were able to control a certain amount of spatial power. That was a kind of comprehension realm. Advancing to foundation forging didn't just rely on support and talent, but it also required high comprehension skills. For a Xi'anshan expert to reach sea expansion was comparatively easy. By piling on the resources, any somewhat talented person could reach sea expansion. But for foundation forging, no matter how many resources you piled on, no matter how great their innate talent, if their comprehension skills were lacking, they would never be able to reach foundation forging. It required a certain level of comprehension into the heavenly deos. So foundation forging experts were very few. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, Shu Wuhan wouldn't have reached foundation forging ever in her life. These two were precisely two of the three that had killed the Vice Sect Master and heavily injured Shu Wuhan. 
The two of them were extremely strong, but back then, one of their group of three had been killed by Ouyang Kiyuayu, and these two had fled. Now that they were once more fighting, the two of them were merely focused on stalling Ouyang Kiyuayu. They hadn't expected Long Chen to join their battle, as he had clearly just advanced to the first heaven stage of sea expansion. With a cold snort, they simply ignored him. With his combat power, it wasn't worth it for them to split their attention. They had to focus on Ouyang Kiyuayu. Long Chen smiled slightly. He sent a single punch toward one of them. Idiot. You won't even be able to break my spatial wall sneered that old monster. But his sneer quickly transformed into astonishment and then horror. Boom. The transparent spatial barrier around him was instantly shattered by one punch. Long Chen then sent out another punch. The corrupt expert hastily moved his soul summoning banner to block. Long Chen's fist became covered in thunder force as he struck it. What astonished the corrupt expert was that cracks appeared on his soul summoning banner. It was a peak grade treasure item, but was broken just like this. Bastard, how can you possess heavenly lightning? That old monster finally realized the problem. His soul summoning banner was a supreme corrupt item that contained the aggrieved souls of countless people, and Long Chen's thunder force had killed all the evil energy within it. The only thing that could possess such power was the most supreme Yang existence. Heavenly tribulation lightning. Boom. His response was another punch. It was just a single punch. One relying on just his physical strength. At this time, Long Chen's body had been completely changed by the green dragon essence blood. The corrupt expert summoned a runic shield, but it was unable to bear a single blow from Long Chen. His shield shattered and he shot back, vomiting blood. One fist broke his spatial barrier, one fist broke his peak grade treasure item, and one fist caused a late foundation forging expert to vomit blood. Everyone was shocked. Those people from the Zhuanshan Dao sect were especially shocked. A year ago, Long Chen had already been terrifying enough, but now, his power had practically surpassed the scope of their understanding. Is he really human? The experts who had come from other sects couldn't believe their eyes. How could they? Their jaws were dropped so low it was almost possible to see their stomachs. At sea expansion, he was able to fight across realms against a foundation forging expert. Furthermore, it was the early sea expansion against late foundation forging, and with just three punches, he caused him to vomit blood. They felt like their heads had broken. Even Ouyang Kiyuaya was shocked. However, she was also delighted. Long Chen's power caused her to feel much more assured. In truth, although she had launched a furious counterattack against the corrupt path for their sneak attack against the Zhuanshan Dao sect, she had her own secret troubles. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had suffered immense damage this time, and their prestige had dropped sharply. It was a grievous blow especially to their influence over the righteous path. Ouyang Kiyuayu had no choice but to launch a fierce counterattack in order to show the Zhuanshan Dao sect's power. Otherwise, not only would others look down on them, but she would also have no way to explain this to the head sect. However, the vice sect master had died, and Shu Wuhan had been heavily injured. Ouyang Kiyuayu's plan had been to wait for Shu Wuhan to heal from her injuries, which was why she had just been patiently fighting these two. She was waiting for Shu Wuhan. She had never imagined that Shu Qingfen would actually be so stupid. Even at this life and death juncture of the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect, he had actually wanted to play games. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, Shu Wuhan would be on the brink of death right now. The person Ouyang Kiyuayu had been waiting for hadn't arrived, but Long Chen had, and his power was just what she needed. Bastard brat, fuck off. The injured corrupt expert roared furiously. Previously, he had been focused on fighting Ouyang Kiyuayu which was why he had been at such a disadvantage. A huge palm image covered the sun and smashed toward Long Chen. A terrifying pressure descended upon him. Careful, warned Ouyang Kiyuayu. She knew that this was a full power attack from him. She was worried Long Chen wouldn't be able to handle it, and she was just about to help him. But suddenly, a blood red saber appeared in Long Chen's hands. A huge saber image manifested, looking like a celestial blade. Split the heavens too. Boom. The palm image and saber image both exploded. Heavens, Long Chen can break a foundation forging expert's full strength attack. Doesn't that mean he truly has the power to challenge late foundation forging experts? That's terrifying. At the first heaven stage of sea expansion, he can challenge late foundation forging experts. Just what kind of monster is he? Countless people from the Zhuanshan Dao sect were looking at the sky in shock. They were looking at that godlike figure holding a blood red saber. Blood Soul Devours, Ghost Kill, after having his attack broken, 
the corrupt expert clapped both his hands together and a sea of blood appeared behind him. That sea of blood was 300 miles long. A bloody scent filled the air, although it was condensed from countless runes. In truth, those runes were created through the souls and essence blood of countless dead experts. The sea condensed into a huge skull, and it smashed toward Long Chen. Bang! Long Chen slashed his saber onto the skull, but he felt an immense power behind it. He was constantly forced back. Divine Ring A four-colored divine ring emitting endless might appeared behind him. Long Chen's power explosively grew alongside Blood Drinker. He had activated its true form. At the same time, his spiritual yuan poured through 18 acupuncture points. Boom! An unstoppable saber image erupted into existence, instantly shattering the huge skull. The huge saber image continued toward the corrupt expert. The corrupt expert was appalled. He had never imagined that Long Chen could possess the power to destroy the magical art he was so proud of. He hastily formed a layer of defense. As a result, it was cleanly cut through. Boom. The corrupt expert smashed into the ground like a shooting star, and the experts Guo Ran was fighting against were blown to smithereens by the impact. Even Guo Ran was unfortunate. He hadn't expected disaster to suddenly fall from the sky. He just happened to be where the corrupt expert fell. He felt like a balloon that had been kicked by a foot. He flipped through the air, his blood surging within him. If he hadn't refined the rank 4 heavenly Deo fruit and the 10,000 spirit blood, strengthening his constitution to a whole new level, he would have been heavily injured just now. While Guo Ran felt like the stars in the sky were spinning around him, he suddenly felt someone catch him. Only then did he realize he had been blown back into his groove. Now the Zhuanshan Dao sect's people finally understood why Long Chen had all Xianshan experts and below retreat. The result of Long Chen's attack had caused a powerful shockwave that exterminated over 10,000 corrupt experts. Even C expansion experts were killed. Thinking of that, they felt a chill. What if the corrupt expert had landed on the side of the righteous path? Just how many people could have survived? Well done, Long Chen. Oh young Qiuayu felt like flowers were blooming inside her heart. Although she had always had a favorable opinion of Long Chen, she had never dared to imagine he would be so powerful. Boom. A figure flew into the air. He was flying toward a spatial portal in the distance. Stop him, Long Chen. He's trying to flee, shouted Oh Young Qiuayu. But that corrupt expert was quite crafty. He had traveled quite a ways underground, and only then had he flown out. He instantly flew into the portal and disappeared. Seeing him flee, the other corrupt expert suddenly released a blinding light like the sun. He lit up the entire sky, blinding people, and somehow, everyone's other senses disappeared. Their sense of hearing, smell, and even touch were gone. It was like the world had turned static. Just as everyone was shocked by this move, the blinding light disappeared. Their senses returned to normal. Up in the sky, Oh Young Kiyuaya was smiling coldly. At some unknown point, a sword had appeared in her hand. It was stabbing through the corrupt expert's body. That corrupt expert was filled with shock. He was unable to move an inch. Ice Key began to envelop him, turning him into an ice statue. Did you think I was an idiot? You wanted to escape with such a flimsy little trick. Oh Young Kiyuaya disdainfully wrapped her opponent in runes before extracting her sword. He had his life. But now he was a hostage. She dropped him to the ground. Oh young Kiyuayu smiled at Long Chen. Who would have thought that in just one year, you would be able to fulfill your promise. Chapter 932 Do you want to play it big? Translator. Born to be for some unknown reason. Seeing Oh young Kiyuayu's smile made a trace of warmth appear in Long Chen's heart. Perhaps it was because of dealing with schemes for so long. But that simple act touched him deeply. I don't remember making any promise to you. Long Chen shook his head. Oh, you've forgotten already? I seem to recall that back then, someone intimately called me little sister and said that if anyone bullied me, I could come and find you, laughed Oh Young Kiyuayu. Long Chen's arrival caused Oh Young Kiyuayu's originally chaotic mood to instantly improve a great deal. The haze over her heart finally faded. Long Chen immediately felt awkward. Back then, he really had been an idiot. He had been tricked by Oh Young Kiyuayu's outer appearance and treated her as an ordinary disciple. He had even bragged so much. You came from the Zhuanshan Dao sect, right? What's going on there? Shu Wuhan should have recovered by now. So why didn't she come with you? Asked Oh Young Kiyuayu. As soon as Shu Wuhan was mentioned, Long Chen's gaze turned cold. His gaze swept over the sea expansion experts of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and his killing intent slowly rose once more. Sect Master, although raising this topic now is a bit unsuitable, I'm an impatient person and I don't like to stall. 
Within our group are several black sheep that need to be eliminated. What? When Oh Young Kyu heard that Shu King Fen had actually been so stupid as to try to kill Shu Wuhan, Oh Young Kyu's expression sank to a frightening point. How brazen. The brazen ones aren't just those few idiots from the Shu family. The Zhao family is also quite brazen. Wouldn't you say? Zhao family head. Long Chen turned toward a certain elder in the crowd. That person was the new Zhao family head. He immediately shouted. Long Chen. I admit you're powerful. But you can't willfully slander others. As soon as you appeared. You killed our commander. But I didn't say anything. Now you want to slander me? Just what are you thinking? Why do you always have to target my Zhao family? The Zhao family head's voice sounded righteous and wronged. And he spoke loudly so everyone could hear him. HMPH. That commander was clearly garbage. His distribution of battle power was clearly unbalanced. The right wing's enemies were strong. But he placed the majority of our power to the left? Do you think I'm an idiot and can't see that he placed the dragon blood legion at the front to be sacrificial pawns? Asked Long Chen icily. What does a brat like you know of battle tactics? You're just shamelessly framing people. If you want to accuse someone, bring out your proof. If you don't have any proof, then just shut your mouth. Shouted the Zhao family head. Proof? Sorry, but I'm not a bailiff. If you want proof, well, let's just see. Long Chen's gaze locked onto the Zhao family head, and he suddenly found that he was unable to move. Long Chen's spiritual strength crashed down on him like a mountain. He felt like he had been dropped in an ice house. He was unable to move. But it wasn't a spatial art. It was a spiritual suppression and a kind of killing intent lock. I ask you, was that commander intentionally harming the dragon blood legion? Shouted Long Chen. Oh Young Kiyuaya was startled. She hadn't expected that it wasn't just Long Chen's combat power that was so frightening. Even his spiritual strength was terrifying. This was an extremely domineering spiritual interrogation. With his spiritual strength locked around him, the Zhao family head couldn't lie. If he did. The slightest spiritual fluctuation from telling a lie would activate Long Chen's killing intent and his soul would be destroyed. Dot. Yes. After struggling for a long time, the Zhao family head didn't have the courage to lie in the end. Were you the one who incited that? Long Chen's expression didn't change. The Zhao family head tightly shut his mouth, his whole body trembling and sweating. He didn't dare to make a sound. He looked at Oh Young Kiyuaya with a pleading expression. Long Chen Oh Young Kiyuayu had just opened her mouth when Long Chen flashed into motion, pressing a finger against the Zhao family head's forehead. Soul Sark. Everyone was horrified. Long Chen truly was brazen. To actually exceed his position and directly use a Soul Sark against the Zhao family head in front of Oh Young Kiyuayu. Once this Soul Sark was over, wouldn't the Zhao family head be turned into an imbecile? You brazen criminal. Hurry and release me. The Zhao family head's furious roar was cut off by a golden light. He was dead. When my boss takes action, don't make such a fuss, shouted Guo Ran. He had been the one to kill him. Oh Young Kiyuayu's expression changed slightly. Long Chen's actions truly were not giving her, the sect master, face. He didn't care at all about her opinion. Zhao Changwei, Zhao Yeohu, Xiao Chenji. Long Chen listed off eight names, all of which were the Zhao family's higher ups. Those who were named immediately turned pale as paper. Guo Ran raised his finger and pointed at them. The eight of them were locked down. Long Chen, we can discuss this matter later. Right now, Oh Young Kiyuayu couldn't help but open her mouth. Now wasn't the time to continuously kill their own sea expansion experts. It would affect their army. Guo Ran, help them out. Long Chen seemed to not hear Oh Young Kiyuayu. Okay. Guo Ran pointed his finger. A golden ray shot out and killed one of the Zhao family's experts. Sect Master, save us. Miserable cries rang out as Guo Ran continued pointing. Arrows shot out too quickly and at too close of a distance for them to do anything but die. Long Chen, I order you to stop, shouted Oh Young Kiyuayu furiously. Why should I stop? Long Chen suddenly turned to look at her. He looked like a furious lion, his killing intent soaring into the sky. They wanted to kill my brothers, so why can't I kill them? Do I really have to wait until they actually do kill my brothers so I can kill them in revenge? Who came up with that dog shit logic? Don't try giving me some garbage about taking my time and how I can settle the bill later, or how I need to get proof. I don't care about any of that. Anyone who dares to touch my brothers all have to die. Every single one of them. Long Chen thought of Little Snow's death. His fury and killing intent were about to erupt out of his control. His final words echoed through the air. Even someone with Oh Young Kiyuayu's cultivation base felt her head ringing from Long Chen's voice. 
but even more terrifying. Long Chen's eyes were completely red. He looked like a bloodthirsty devil who might start killing people at any moment. This was Oh Young Kiyu's first time seeing Long Chen so furious, and her own fury vanished without a trace. The reason I traveled so far wasn't because I care so much about the Zuan Chen Dao sect, but because my brothers are here, and because my big sister is here. For them, I can put my life on the line. But as for the dog shit rules you higher ups like to play, I've had enough. Don't talk to me about background or influence. Anyone who dares to scheme against my people will have my butcher's knife chop off their heads. Long Chen's voice shook everyone's hearts. In that instant, it felt like all their lives were in his hands, as if a single thought from him could kill them all. He was too terrifying. Eight of the Zhao family's experts had been killed. After completing the mission Long Chen had given him, Guo Ran casually walked back behind him. You don't feel any ties to the Zuan Chen Dao sect. Oh Yang Kiyu sighed with disappointment. As the head of that family, she viewed each disciple as her own child. Long Chen's words were hurtful. I don't like the Zuan Chen Dao sect's atmosphere. The internal strife and despicable schemes continue in an unending stream. Just now, all I did was kill a few of the vermin targeting me. But in reality, the Zuan Chen Dao sect is infested with more vermin. Vermin that hinders the sect's proper development. I'm sure you're even clearer about that than me. I want to love the Zuan Chen Dao sect, but in front of the endless schemes that want me dead, I don't know just how I'm supposed to love it, said Long Chen. The higher-ups all felt ashamed. Yes, it was true that all their energy was focused on internal strife, but there was no way around that. If they didn't, they would have to leave or die. No matter what they wanted to do for the sect, they would have to go through many twists and turns. Countless people were worried that you would soar like a shooting star above them, and so they would heavily suppress you. As you constantly worked your way through that, you would constantly run into blockades. Cooking a good bowl of porridge wasn't easy, but ruining it was. All it required was a single log of stool to destroy your work of several years or even decades. After trying for so long, everyone had given up. Instead, they held their own logs of stool and their sights on other people's bowls of porridge. It began an unending, vicious cycle. Many people understood this principle, but they were unable to do anything about it. These had become unspoken rules, and they had to follow them. This was what it meant by the law could not condemn everyone. It wasn't as if they could kick out every single one of them. Wouldn't the sect be disbanded then? Although they were all just holding logs of stool to target others, at least on the surface, it would appear like the sect was flourishing. This was the case for the majority of sects. Although I don't have any good feelings toward the sect, my brothers and sisters are here. They are the people I love. So I've come, continued Long Chen. Hearing that, Oh Young Kiyu's disappointed eyes brightened. I don't care about the problems with the sect system, nor do I care about your hopelessly tangled relationships. How other people want to fight against each other means nothing to me. However, don't provoke me. Long Chen glared at the Zuan Chen Dao sect's higher ups. This was a warning. Originally, Oh Young Kiyu had thought that Long Chen was saying these heartless words because he was planning on leaving the Zuan Chen Dao sect, but now he had clearly expressed himself. Although he didn't like the Zuan Chen Dao sect, he wouldn't leave the sect that relieved her. At the same time, she was also extremely ashamed. She was the highest leader of the Zuan Chen Dao sect, but she had never been able to steel herself to completely cleanse the sect if she had been ruthless back then. Then the Zuan Chen Dao sect might not be in its current form. Long Chen, what are you planning to do now? Asked Oh Young Kiyu. Sect Master, do you want to play it big? Long Chen stared at the distant spatial portal, his eyes icy cold. Chapter 933 Killing Their Way Into The Corrupt Path's Hive Translator Born to be originally, Oh Young Kiyu had been about to call a retreat. She had only summoned everyone to win back the Zuan Chen Dao sect's honor. To put it more bluntly, it had been for face. Now she had won and succeeded in killing tens of thousands of the corrupt paths experts. She had even killed two foundation forging experts. This counterattack had been enough to shake the eastern wasteland. Once she reported this accomplishment back to the head sect, they wouldn't reprimand her. Instead, they would praise her, and the Zuan Chen Dao sect's name would rise to a new height in the eastern wasteland. With this battle, she would be able to give a show to the head sect as well as the eastern wasteland's righteous path. And so she had been planning on retreating, because if they continued fighting, this matter might escape her control. You want to? Oh Young Kiyu jumped in shock. Yes, I'm preparing on leading everyone into the spatial portal and start a slaughter of their hive, said Long Chen. You can't. 
That spatial portal leads to one of the corrupt path's seven great strongholds. Although it looks calm from the outside, once you go in, you won't just have to face countless formations and mechanisms. The other six strongholds experts will also come to reinforce them. At that time, you'll be facing the entire Eastern Wasteland's corrupt path's attack. In fact, half-step kings might appear. Don't think that the corrupt path only has so few people. This is just an unwritten rule that without approval from above, neither the righteous nor corrupt path will launch an all-out war against the other. But if we ignore that and attack, the corrupt path will be able to gather all their experts to kill us. Everyone was shocked to hear that Long Chen wanted to charge into the corrupt path's hive. Perhaps the younger generation didn't understand, but the sea expansion elders were aware of these rules. More rules. I hate those things the most. Battle is not a game. Who is the referee? Who came up with the rules? After they're broken, who gives out the punishment? I'll tell you. Rules are always chains the strong use to control the weak. As for the strong, they'll ignore those chains and kill you whenever they please. Isn't the righteous path a perfect example? Each time the righteous and corrupt battles begin, isn't it the corrupt path that attacks? Did they ever send you a notification before attacking? Did they tell you where they were attacking? Did they tell you their numbers? Why do they get to be the player and the referee? While we just have to accept that. Long Chen looked at Ouyang Qiuayu, his voice full of disappointment. Even Ouyang Qiuayu. An expert who could command an enormous existence like the Zhuangshan Dao sect, was actually constrained by these idiot rules. Long Chen really was starting to feel like there was no hope for the righteous path. Oh Yang Qiuayu didn't know what to say. She had always felt the righteous path to be very stupid and cowardly, but despite how high her cultivation base was, she didn't dare to break the rules that had been followed for countless years. Seeing Long Chen's disappointed expression deeply stimulated her heart. She clenched her teeth and said, Long Chen, no matter what you choose to do, I will accompany you. Although she hadn't known Long Chen for long, she had to admire his heaven-defying ability to stir up trouble. Since Long Chen wanted to play bigger, then as the sect master, she would accompany him for a bout of craziness. Even Ouyang Qiuayu herself didn't know why she felt that taking risks with Long Chen was so frightening, but this kind of fright was also extremely stimulating. She had always handled things steadily and calmly. Whatever she did, all the results were basically within her expectations. But this time, she had no idea what the results would be. The more you didn't know the results, the more stimulating it was. It was like a gamble. Without revealing the final card, no one knew just who had won and who had lost. Guo Ran, come over. Boss, you have instructions for me. Do you still have any more of those supreme bombs? I just need one. Boss, I only have one. This bomb scope was huge. Back then, he had only managed to use one at the start, as otherwise, he would have injured his own people, so the second one had gone unused. Good, we'll use it as the opening act. Guo Ran, you can be the vanguard, give them our gift. Remember, we want to start off with a bang. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. Haha, don't worry boss, it'll definitely be enough to shake heaven and earth, said Guo Ran excitedly. However, don't put on your poser act, if you want to be a poser. Wait until you set off the bomb, warned Long Chen. Who knew if this fellow had gotten too addicted to posing and would mess things up? Long Chen, are you sure he can handle such a thing? Oh Yang Qiuai was hesitant. Although Guo Ran's aura had reached sea expansion, his aura wasn't particularly outstanding. She couldn't help being worried. Sect Master, don't worry. If I didn't have any ability, how could I follow boss? My life is pretty tough as well, said Guo Ran confidently patting himself on the chest. After the immense battle in the immemorial path, Guo Ran could also count as someone with his own story. Each movement he made seemed to possess the manner of an expert. It did have a bit of an intimidating flavor. The others, you don't need to enter. I suppose you can just wait outside. Long Chen glanced at the sea expansion experts of the Zhuanshan Dao sect and shook his head. You, Long Chen, are you ignoring us because you think we're too weak? Asked one of them. Long Chen helplessly stared at him. In the end, he truthfully nodded, almost causing that elder to cough up blood. You, not every sea expansion expert here was a coward. They had their own dignity and hot blood. They were willing to fight for the sect although they constantly fought amongst themselves. They still cared about the sect in their hearts. Furthermore, quite a few of the disciples and family they cared about had died to the corrupt path. They had come with a determination to fight to the death as revenge for them. Long Chen. You should let them come. Oh Yang Qiuayu looked at Long Chen, her tone almost pleading. 
Some of these sea expansion experts were still people with face. If they didn't participate in this battle, how were they supposed to work for the sect in the future? Long Chen understood their meaning, and he bitterly smiled inside. Looking at the several staunch experts, he felt a bit of comfort. This meant that not all their hot blood had been wiped away by those garbage rules. The righteous path could be saved. You can come, but you have to listen to my orders, said Long Chen harshly. He definitely didn't want chaos because of them. Don't worry, I will personally guarantee that each one of them will listen to your orders, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. She knew that these sea expansion experts might be a bit too old to feel comfortable with being treated as fighters that had to obediently listen to orders. So she hastily mediated things. Everyone, to tell the truth, the corrupt path is completely intolerable, and so I am planning on undergoing a true bloody battle with them. The corrupt path's strongholds are all linked with transportation formations. So once we charge through this spatial portal, we'll essentially be facing the entire eastern wasteland's corrupt path. Think carefully about whether you want to fight this battle. It might be a battle to the last man. Do you still want to participate? Warned Long Chen. Nonsense. If a group of children like you can sacrifice your lives, then how could a group of people with half a foot in the grave possibly refuse? Isn't it just death? That happens sooner or later. But to bring a few bastards from the corrupt path with us, we can make sure our children have fewer enemies. Disciples listen well. If I don't return, the monastery head position will fall too. The various sea expansion elders were all ready for death. In fact, even some of the smaller sect's leaders had entrusted their position to their juniors. Other than a few of them that evasively hid themselves, the majority of them were invigorated and ready to fight a battle to the death. Who would have thought that at a critical moment, the righteous path's experts would actually possess some courage? Looking at these old elders ready to sacrifice their lives, Oh young Kiyuayu couldn't help being moved. People can be good, but the righteous path's rules have harmed them. If you are all right with the pain of cutting out a malignant tumor, the Zhuanshan Dao sect might be able to walk into the right path in the future. Long Chen also hadn't expected there to be this many people who wanted to fight. Sect leader, we also want to go in. We can also fight, even if death lies within. We're not afraid. We'll go all out against those bastards from the corrupt path, affected by their sect leaders. Quite a few disciples began to shout emotionally. All of you shut your mouths. Even we would just be cannon fodder once we enter. So how do any of you have the qualifications? Go back and focus on cultivating. Wait to put your life on the line once you get stronger. Scolded their sect leaders. But they were gratified. Perhaps only at this time was it possible to clearly see who was a real man. They were gratified to see that there really were quite a few hot-blooded men in the righteous path. They regretted wasting their time fighting each other. What would happen if they focused on raising these hot-blooded men? Thinking of this all, they were incredibly ashamed. Space suddenly shook. The powerful rumbling shocked everyone, and they hastily turned to look in a certain direction. Menki's spiritual barrier now vanished. Over 300 experts were releasing turbulent auras. Illusory seas appeared behind him. Collective sea expansion tribulation. Everyone was shocked. The Dragonblood Legion's experts were all advancing to sea expansion at the same time. Hundreds of key pillars soared into the sky. Each one of the Dragonblood Warrior's key seas was over 2,000 miles. They were all together so their seas superimposed, causing intense rumbling in space. Guo ran. Go ahead. Fire the opening shot, shouted Long Chen. All right, I'm going. Guo ran summoned his golden armor and charged into the spatial portal. Everything was silent for a moment. But then the spatial portal began to tremble. It was possible to hear a very faint bang. Dragonblood Legion. Charge. Undergo tribulation in the corrupt path's hive. Chapter 934 Blood Dies The Ground Scarlet Translator. Born to be the corrupt path's stronghold was actually a whole minor world. It was a world created by an almighty expert and was hundreds of thousands of miles wide. This kind of minor world was similar to a spatial vessel and didn't possess its own laws. It was essentially the same as the outer world but it was extremely hidden. If you didn't know the entrance, it was essentially impossible for others to notice it. Countless experts of the corrupt path had gathered within this minor world. The old monster that Long Chen had injured was nervously looking at the portal. Are you sure they'll enter? You have mustered such a large force, but there's no movement coming from their side. Are you sure you weren't just scared out of your wits? A pockmarked, corpse-like elder glared at the person who had been injured by Long Chen. His voice contained ridicule. Because in the sneak attack against the Zhuanshan Dao sect, all seven of their strongholds had sent in troops. 
but only this stronghold was counterattacked. Now, although their sneak attack had succeeded, Ouyang Kiyuayu had led a fierce counterattack to turn the old monster into his current state. He had lost all his elite warriors, so this elder was laughing at his misfortune. However, since he had received an urgent request for help, he had no choice but to come here. This stronghold now contained the elites of all the other six strongholds. They numbered over 400,000. Having mustered such a huge force, if the Zhuangshan Dao sect didn't dare to attack, it would become a massive joke. They had over 3,000 sea expansion experts, and a total of 18 foundation forging experts. Such a force was practically enough to overturn the entire eastern wasteland. This was the result of that injured elder sending out an urgent distress signal. Although they had all known that bringing all their forces like this was overkill. When the urgent distress signal was used, they all had no choice but to move out. Those were the rules, and no one dared to go against them. Shut up. Don't think that you can bully me just because I'm down and out, roared the person Long Chen had injured. He was this stronghold's master. All his elites had been killed. Such immense damage was something that couldn't be recovered from without several centuries. Originally, his stronghold had counted as above average amongst the seven strongholds. But now, they had immediately become the bottom existence. And even he had been beaten badly. He was already enraged. And as soon as that other elder added some oil to the fire, he exploded. As for the person he cursed, he was infuriated to be pointed at and cursed back. He had long since gotten tired of that old monster's bragging, and he was just about to counterattack. Suddenly, a golden figure charged through the spatial portal, startling everyone. But when they saw that it was just one person, they hesitated. Don't activate the killing formation. They sent one scapegoat. So don't waste the formation on one person, shouted one of the corrupt path's elders. Scapegoat? Fuck your mother. I am the grand and illustrious Guo Ran. When did I become a scapegoat? Fuck. Here. Guo Ran furiously tossed out a huge sphere. It landed in front of the spatial portal. An empty land covered in runes. It was a huge killing formation. Boom. The huge sphere exploded upon striking the land. An immense force instantly erupted. Not good. The bomb's explosion was absolutely horrifying. As it completely destroyed the killing formation. Not only that. But bone thorns also shot out like rain. Those bone thorns came from the immemorial path. Even ordinary sea expansion experts couldn't handle them, let alone the Xianchen disciples the corrupt path had gathered. Anyone touched by a bone thorn would instantly die. This attack scope was incredibly huge, and although the foundation forging experts hastily took action and formed barriers of light, tens of thousands of their disciples had still been killed. These bone thorns contained poison and a single one of them could pierce through hundreds of disciples. They were just too weak in comparison. Kill that golden armored monstrosity, the corrupt path's experts roared. They found that the killing formation they had set up in advance had been completely ruined and couldn't be activated. They had the urge to tear Guo Ran apart piece by piece. I've already said, my name is Guo Ran. Are my words too complicated for you, or are you deaf? Rage Guo Ran. Buzz. Just as the corrupt path was thrown into a mess by Guo Ran's attack, the sky suddenly darkened. What's going on? Heavens. Someone's undergoing tribulation. A huge mass of people charged out of the spatial portal. Their initial sea surged behind them. Boom. Endless lightning poured down from the sky, landing amongst them. It's a sea expansion tribulation. Sea expansion experts. Hurry up and kill them. Foundation forging experts. Suppress your cultivation bases to see expansion and slaughter them. Quick, shouted one of the foundation forging experts. They hadn't expected Long Chen to be so ruthless as to send in a huge group of people that were undergoing tribulation. This move was too vicious. Because this was a sea expansion tribulation, their Xianchen disciples all met misfortune. This tribulation wasn't something they could endure. A portion of you, go kill them. Xianchen disciples. Gather together and find a sea expansion expert to protect you. This is just the first wave of the tribulation and isn't that strong. Quick, kill them now, roared a foundation forging expert. Ha ha ha, in a battle against opponents from the same realm. When have the Dragonblood warriors ever been afraid of anyone? The Dragonblood warriors laughed and brandished their weapons, slaughtering their enemies. Their collective tribulation was a part of Long Chen's battle plans. Within the scope of the tribulation clouds, everyone had to suppress their power to the level of the person undergoing tribulation. Otherwise, the heavenly tribulation would suddenly grow in power. Unless the foundation forging experts gave up on everyone else's lives, they couldn't go all out. Otherwise, 
This sea expansion tribulation would become foundation forging tribulation. That tribulation could instantly annihilate anyone below foundation forging. At this time, Long Chen, Ouyang Qiuayu, and the others also entered. However, Long Chen didn't participate in the battle. Instead, he just calmly watched. No one was more confident in the Dragonblood Legion's power than Long Chen. On this battlefield, no one could defeat Chiringtham in the same realm. When those sea expansion elders that had valiantly demanded to be allowed into the fight saw the sea of corrupt experts, they were all startled. They hadn't expected the corrupt path to possess such numbers. However, they also saw the Dragonblood warriors slaughtering their way into their midst while also dealing with the lightning tribulation. They were like tigers pouncing on a flock of sheep. Each slash of their blades killed a group. This was an absolute slaughter. Long Chen, this move of yours is ruthless. You're forcing the corrupt path to not use their true power. Oh Yang Qiuayu couldn't help being moved. She saw that the foundation forging experts who charged toward the Dragonblood Legion were completely unaccustomed to fighting with their cultivation bases suppressed to sea expansion. They didn't dare to use many of their moves. And as a result, a single one of them was at most able to hold back five Dragonblood warriors. Just five disciples were able to go against a foundation forging expert. They were so furious that their faces were green. Then seeing the Dragonblood warriors slaughtering their elite disciples, they felt like they might explode. Disciple of the Righteous Path, just wait. We'll slaughter you to the last, roared one of the foundation forging experts. I'll slaughter you all with a smash of my club while charged out. The lightning rain was unable to affect him at all, and he charged right in front of that foundation forging expert. Fuck off. Do you think I'm easy to bully? Roared the foundation forging expert. He sent a punch at Wild. Seeing that, quite a few of the sea expansion elders couldn't help but feel worried for Wild. But they suddenly found that Long Chen, Menki, and the others suddenly couldn't bear to watch and turned away. Bang. That foundation forging expert had his cultivation base suppressed to sea expansion. As a result, a single smash of Wild's club destroyed half his upper body. And before he could even react. Wild's second smash blew him to bits. The sea expansion elders were all horrified. A foundation forging expert, an almost pinnacle existence within the eastern wasteland, had been killed with two smashes of a club. This was too hard to believe. Even Ouyang Qiuaya was filled with shock, her hand covering her mouth. She couldn't believe her eyes. On the contrary, Long Chen's expression was calm. Everything was within his expectations. Wild was a complete freak. He had no cultivation base and the heavenly tribulation was unable to lock onto him. For a foundation forging expert to suppress his cultivation base to sea expansion, he would only be a bit stronger than a peak sea expansion expert. But Wild's power wasn't suppressed at all, so for him to be able to kill that expert with two smashes of his club was completely normal. Wild's participation in the battle caused complete chaos. He was focusing on the strongest experts of the corrupt path, the foundation forging experts. When another foundation forging expert activated his treasure item but was still almost killed in a single blow, he shouted, avoid that giant brat, something's off about him. Wild wreaked havoc amongst the corrupt path as he chased the foundation forging experts through the battlefield. Seeing foundation forging experts fleeing like chickens in front of a dog, Ouyang Qiuayu and the others were flabbergasted. Buzz, the lightning tribulation grew even stronger. Lightning rain, lightning arrows, lightning spears. And finally, lightning beasts appeared. The corrupt path was finally unable to bear it. The Xianchen experts were still blown apart even under the protection of sea expansion experts. Hold. This is the final wave of the tribulation, shouted a foundation forging expert. He saw lightning beasts descending from the sky one by one. By the time the lightning beasts had filled the battlefield, the corrupt path's original army of over 400,000 had been reduced by two-thirds. 99% of their casualties had been because of the heavenly tribulation. Rumble. What? It's over already. Is this the bias given to celestials? Seeing the tribulation cloud slowly scatter, Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. He had an urge to fly up and give it a punch to bring it back, but he decided against it. Then he would be playing a bit too big. You damnable righteous path. Time for you to die, roared one of the foundation forging experts. His aura erupted and he sent a powerful palm crashing toward the Dragonblood Warriors. Chapter 935 The Corrupt Path's Terrifying Strength Translator Born to be you're the one who should die, you old ghost. A huge giant appeared in the sky, breaking his palm image with a single blow. Wild had activated the barbarian blood bronze body. 
He smashed apart his attack and then sent another smash toward him. Corrupt blood grand formation, shouted the foundation forging expert. He suddenly transformed to look like a ghoul who had just flown out of a pool of blood. Ghost key soared out of his body, and with a wave of his hand, a blood-colored spear shot toward Wild. Boom. The blood-colored spear was shattered by a single blow from Wild. Impossible. How can you not be affected by the blood soul impact? Seeing Wild had no reaction, that corrupt foundation forging expert was shocked. That blood spear of his was not just a physical attack. It also contained a powerful spiritual aspect. One that would confuse a person's mind and make a person fall into illusions. They would fall into a blood sea that they couldn't escape from. He couldn't believe that Wild really had no reaction to his attack. What corrupt blood grand formation. What soul impact. My brother Long said that no matter what enemies I face, they can all be handled with a good smash of my club. If one smash isn't enough, then two. If two isn't enough, then I just have to continue until they're dead. Watch. Wild once more smashed his club at him. The corrupt expert refused to accept this, and he launched seven of those blood spears again. But Wild seemed immune to the blood soul impact, causing him to be so furious that he involuntarily trembled. Foundation forging experts possessed a high level of comprehension into spatial energy. Thus, they were able to release the full power of magical arts. But no matter what magical arts this foundation forging expert used, whether offensive or defensive, Wild would simply repeatedly smash his club at him. The runes of his magical arts would shatter each time. At the same time, Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan all moved out, starting a fierce fight with the foundation forging experts. Oh Young Qi Yu and the others were shocked to see that they were able to fight foundation forging experts one on one without losing. Originally, they had been weaker than Wild. But that weakness had been erased after consuming rank 4 heavenly Deo fruits and the 10,000 spirit blood. Their power had reached a completely new level. Should we first destroy their transportation formations and cut the reinforcements off? Asked O Young Kiyuayu. No need. Since we're playing, let's play bigger. I want to make the corrupt path pay a miserable price. Long Chen shook his head. Zhu Yu had completely infuriated him. Right now, he wasn't fighting for the righteous path but for revenge for little snow, a blood debt had to be paid with blood, fine, up to you, in any case, I'm just accompanying you, I'll go out first, oh young Kiyuayu smiled slightly, she felt a feeling of freedom she hadn't felt in a long time, Long Chen was the true leader of this battlefield, oh young Kiyuayu felt a feeling of delight, this was the first time in many years that the burden on her shoulders was released, she felt relaxed and carefree, she had an urge to give Long Chen the title of sect master, in fact, she felt like she had returned to the springtime of her youth back when her blood had been boiling as well. Brats from the corrupt path, if you have any skill, come and try me. Perhaps it was because she had forgotten herself or perhaps she was just too excited. Or perhaps Oh Young Kiyuayu had always been hiding her craziness. But she actually shouted such an inappropriate thing as she charged out. Oh Young Kiyuayu attacked, blocking five foundation forging experts on her own. Her jade palm released powerful runes that caused the world to shake. What startled Long Chen was that Oh Young Kiyuayu's magical arts were different from others. She didn't need any hand seals. With each wave of her hand, a rune flew out and transformed into a sword. In truth, Oh Young Kiyuayu had been holding back when she had fought outside the spatial portal. She had been constantly thinking about what kind of victory she required in order to win back the Zuanchen Deo sect's face. She had possessed the power to kill those two foundation forging experts back then. After all, she had already touched the next barrier. Compared to an ordinary foundation forging expert, she was much stronger. However, what she wanted was a total victory. She needed her disciples to win as well, as just slaughtering the corrupt experts on her own wasn't enough to raise their morale. Furthermore, that would go against the unwritten rules of the righteous and corrupt battles. During huge battles, the experts on both sides couldn't attack those of a weaker level. Once they did, the entire world would become chaotic, with each side doing their best to ruin the other. There was no way for either party to develop. This law of troops fighting troops, generals fighting generals had existed since a long time ago. Otherwise, if everyone started sending experts to kill their opponent's children, this world would become completely chaotic. That was why even if Oh Young Kiyuayu had killed those two foundation forging experts, it wouldn't have counted as a victory to her. She had needed her disciples to kill the corrupt experts and win a double-sided victory. However, all of this had been changed by Long Chen. 
He didn't give a damn about any of that. He directly charged into their hive, and his goal was only to cause their blood to turn into rivers. He wanted revenge. Oh Young Kiyu had thrown caution to the wind, allowing Long Chen to do as he pleased. She would rather be a merry warrior and charge into the front lines. Long Chen, what do you want us to do? Asked a monastery head. They had all made their preparations. Just watch, or perhaps activate some photographic jades to record the battle. You can use those to encourage your disciples in the future, said Long Chen indifferently. What? Is that really all right? He asked. There's no choice. This battle is just the beginning. Look, another two foundation forging experts just appeared from the transportation formation. That means our enemies are still gathering. The battle will only grow more intense. You might have the correct heart, but you don't have the power. In this battle, any random shockwave might kill you. Such death has no meaning. Long Chen shook his head. The transportation formation was constantly lighting up. Groups of corrupt experts were constantly appearing, and they had all at least reached sea expansion. The monastery head sighed despondently. The others also looked dispirited. I don't say these things because I'm looking down on you or because I want to insult you. I want you to know just how big this world is. As for us, for some insignificant advantages, we act like a leaf can blind us to a mountain. The only thing we do is use our small intellects to fight against each other. There is no meaning behind that. Although the lot of you don't have the power to fight here, you have plenty of experience and can use that experience to raise your disciples in the future. Let them resolve the regrets you have, said Long Chen. They all clearly understood his reasoning. Seeing these experts fighting, they felt even more regret for wasting all their time on useless things. Just watch here. I have work to do. Long Chen also charged into the battle in the air. That was the battle of the foundation forging experts. More and more corrupt experts were appearing, and Long Chen went to replace Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. In the air, the two of them were like fish that had jumped onto dry land. They were already starting to buckle. Go take a break. Remember my signal. Long Chen summoned his divine ring and slashed with his saber, blocking three foundation forging experts. All right. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan both wiped off their sweat. They really were unable to bring out their full power in the air. Long Chen had joined the battle, but he didn't use his full power. He was simply stalling as he fought with Ouyang Kiyuayu and the others. More and more experts were arriving. The Corrupt Paths Foundation forging experts now numbered 25. That number was shocking. Down below, the majority of the Xianchen experts had been killed. Blood dyed the ground scarlet, and corpses littered the ground. Right now, the battlefield on the ground belonged solely to sea expansion experts. Tens of thousands of sea expansion experts had surrounded the Dragonblood Legion. Despite their huge numbers advantage, they were unable to stop the Dragonblood Legion. With each passing breath, several of their experts died. As for the Dragonblood Warriors, their morale only continued to grow as the battle progressed, and they became fiercer and fiercer. It was like a group of sheep was surrounding a group of tigers. Steady, steady, shouted one of the squad leaders. The Dragonblood Legion had four captains. Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan. Below them were the squad leaders. There was one squad leader for every ten warriors. Normally, they were only in charge of their squads, but now this squad leader had no choice but to give a warning to everyone. Sorry, sorry, I was getting too addicted. I forgot, apologized a dragonblood warrior. They needed to kill at a steady pace so that their enemies only continued to increase. Long Chen wanted to play big and force the corrupt path to bring out all their power. It was to give the corrupt path an unforgettable experience. There's 28 of them already. How could the corrupt path have hidden them so well? Oh Young Kiyuayu sent a spiritual message to Long Chen. She was extremely shocked. Long Chen, how do you plan on handling this? My appetite's big. So we're just going to continue until the corrupt path uses up every last bit of their power, said Long Chen. Are you confident? Oh Young Kiyuayu was startled. Don't I have you by my side? As the Zhuanshan Dao sect's leader, I don't believe you don't have some frightening trump cards, laughed Long Chen. Sly brat. So you even included me in your calculations, raged Ouyang Kiyuayu. As time passed, more experts continued to arrive. Ouyang Kiyuayu was shocked to see that the corrupt path had over a hundred thousand sea expansion experts. As for foundation forging experts, they now numbered 56. Long Chen and the others were in a dangerous situation now. How could the corrupt path have so many experts? This power is already beyond the sum of the righteous path. The sea expansion elders watching the fight were stunned. If they weren't personally witnessing it, they would never have believed such a thing. 
When had the corrupt path grown to such a level? Had they always been concealing their power? Had they been planning some immense scheme? Thinking of that, they felt a chill. One of them thought to leave now and spread the photographic jades while he could, letting everyone realize the scope of the corrupt path's forces. Even if they all died, at least the righteous path could prepare themselves. Crap, the spatial portal has been sealed. His expression suddenly changed. More and more corrupt experts arrived. After two hours, they finally came to a stop. It's about time, everyone. There's no need to hold back. Start the slaughter, shouted Long Chen. His saber lit up, and with a single slash, a foundation forging expert was killed. Four Star Battle Armor, Chapter 936 Half Step King's Translator, born to be with the Four Star Battle Armor and Divine Ring. Long Chen's power leaped to a level the corrupt foundation forging experts had never imagined. For Long Chen, who had been in such a desperate situation, to suddenly explode with such power, the expert was caught off guard and blown into bloody mist in a single attack, his treasure item also shattering. His spatial arts posed no resistance against Long Chen's full power. They were as weak as paper. A huge saber image tore into the sky and ruthlessly slashed down. Boom. Five foundation forging experts were sent flying. Before they could stabilize, Long Chen formed hand seals. Double dragon destruction. Two huge coiling dragons shot out, releasing a destructive power as they charged at the five of them. Despite doing their best to block and summoning many layers of defense, their power was not worth mentioning in front of the two dragons. The five of them were turned to ash. This sudden change stupefied the corrupt path. No matter what, they couldn't make themselves believe their own eyes. Long Chen had suddenly transformed into an unrevealed battle god, killing six of their foundation forging experts in an instant. There's finally no more need to hold back, god slaying slash. Long Chen had just erupted when Yu Zifeng's flying rainbow slashed down. He also killed a foundation forging expert in one blow. After absorbing the 10,000 spirit blood, he had condensed innate divine runes and his own spirit blood. When he used spirit blood to activate his divine runes, his power could shake the heavens. At the same time, Gu Yang, Men Qi, Tang Wan Er, and the others all instantly released their power, slaughtering the foundation forging experts they were fighting. I won't lose to you youngsters. I'm not old yet. Seeing her young disciples release such power, Oh Young Qiu clapped her hands together and shouted, Zhuanshan Triple Revolution Slash, a violet rune formed a huge cyclone. Three flying blades rapidly spun within it as it struck the five foundation forging experts she was fighting. The five of them went all out, but as soon as they clashed, their expressions changed. That cyclone paused due to their defense, but then it once more spun. Once the first blade was blocked, the second blade fell on them. They once more hastily blocked. This time, its attack was even stronger and the five of them vomited blood, feeling like their bones were about to fall apart. Just at that moment, the third blade struck. Helpless to resist, the five of them were cut to shreds. After killing five foundation forging experts with one attack, a faint rosy color appeared on Ouyang Kiyuayu's face, but it quickly receded. Long Chen saw it clearly and couldn't help but shake his head. This sect master of his truly was competitive. She had definitely paid a price to release that attack but he didn't say anything to break her facade. Under everyone's powerful retaliation, over 10 foundation forging experts were killed in an instant, shocking the entire battlefield. Brothers, kill, earth burial, Song Mingyuan and Li Qi attacked at the same time. The ground crumbled and countless earth dragons sprang out. Their 30 meter wide mouths devoured people in one gulp. Dozens of corrupt experts were devoured into the ground. Those people's auras rapidly vanished. Kill. There's no need to hold back any longer. Cut them down. The dragon blood warriors auras erupted like volcanoes. They could finally release their full power. Heavenly Deo runes appeared around them. Heavens. Three colored runes. They're all rank three celestials. Now, all the sea expansion elders were dumbfounded. The heavenly Deo power the dragon blood legion had now erupted with could not be mistaken. They had gone from tigers to dragons. They charged forward, reaping the lives of the corrupt experts. From the dragon blood warriors auras, they had a sudden thought and looked up into the sky again. Previously, the attacks had been too fierce and they hadn't been able to get a clear look. But now they saw it clearly. Rank. Rank 4 celestials. Four colored runes revolved around Menki and the others. Heaven and earth quivered as endless energy was absorbed by the runes. It was like the world was giving them its blessing. Kill. Don't hold back. Shouted Long Chen. With another use of split the heavens. A foundation forging expert was cut down again. 
This was already the ninth foundation forging expert he had killed. When Long Chen and the others went all out, in just a few breaths, the 56 foundation forging experts were cut down to 30. It all happened so suddenly that they were unable to react. Boom. A foundation forging expert sword landed on Long Chen's shoulder. Blood splashed, and it was possible to see the bone. But Long Chen's saber had cut off the expert's hand, and with a kick, his head exploded. Brats from the righteous path, you are provoking the corrupt path. Suddenly, two elders wearing simple robes appeared on the transportation formation. Their faces were covered in wrinkles, but their eyes shone with a bright light. There seemed to be a faint blood color hidden within them. Most curious of all, their eyes seemed to have their own world. Boundless energy circulated within them. As soon as they appeared, everyone felt like they had fallen to the bottom of the sea. A powerful pressure made it feel like time was moving slowly. Half-step kings, cried Oh Young Kiyu in shock. She had known that the corrupt path might have had a half-step king presiding over it, but for two of them to really appear still shocked her. Half-step kings, experts who had taken half a step into the king realm. Although they weren't true kings, they had already touched upon a king's divine power. Oh Young Kiyu had also touched that barrier but she still hadn't comprehended that last step. During her trip to the head sect this time, she had listened to other experts preach the Dao, and she had benefited immensely. She had originally been planning on going into seclusion upon returning and attacking the half-step king realm, but she had encountered a complete mess when she had returned, and she hadn't had any time or the ability to calm herself down and focus on comprehending the martial Dao. Although she had been prepared, the appearance of the two half-step kings still shocked her. She felt like they really had played it big. You're wrong. I don't have time to provoke you idiots. Let me ask you. Where is Zhu Yu? Long Chen icily stared at the two elders. Battle intent raging in his eyes. When he mentioned Zhu Yu. Little Snow's image reappeared in his mind. It was like he could see the scene of him dying again. A burst of pain filled his heart. You should be Long Chen. Correct? You really are a fool to run here to send yourself to death. Said one of the two elders. He was tall and thin like a stalk of bamboo. A cruel smile appeared on his face, making him look as sinister as a ghost. Long Chen suddenly made a motion with his hand. No one understood. But then a bang rang out. The stronghold's transportation formations all exploded. Boss, it's done. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi had both been waiting for Long Chen's signal. HMPH. How absolutely senseless. The two half-step kings hadn't expected Long Chen to do this. But they also didn't care. You're wrong. I never do anything senseless. Now that the transportation formations are broken, we are all sealed here. No one will be entering for a while at least. That's the only way we can have a real life and death battle. Long Chen looked at the two of them without the slightest bit of fear. Everyone else paused to stare at Long Chen and the two half-step kings. Life and death battle? Laughable. Do you think you can have a life and death battle with us? Foolish to the peak. Sneered one of them. Long Chen shook his head. It seems your corrupt path really is very powerful, more powerful than I expected. But of course, Long Chen ignored them and continued. It seems Zhu Yu didn't explain what had happened after returning to the corrupt path. Or perhaps, you aren't from the same faction as him. Either way, it seems he didn't tell you the truth. Otherwise, my low-grade tactics wouldn't have had such a great effect. It seems I have to thank him once I see him. The two elders' expressions changed slightly. Long Chen's words had hit right on the mark. In truth, the Eastern Wasteland's corrupt path was split into two camps, and there were definitely some conflicts between them. Zhu Yu just happened to not be part of their faction. As for Ka Wu Tu, he had been part of their faction, which was why Ka Wu Tu had targeted Zhu Yu. In truth, they had learned the news that Long Chen had entered their stronghold as soon as it had happened. Originally, they hadn't cared. After all, coming here just made him a turtle caught in a jar. They had gathered their strongholds experts and sent them to kill him as a trial. They viewed this kind of battle as nothing more than a kind of game. As a result, Long Chen and the others had been so strong that they had been forced to send even more experts. In truth, doing so was exposing the hidden power of the corrupt path. However, the spatial portal had already been closed by them. So Long Chen and the others couldn't escape. So what if they exposed their power? Dead people tell no tales. As for Long Chen... When he had seen that he had drawn out all their power, he had immediately started a slaughter, making it so that these two elders couldn't keep watching. With the transportation formations broken, and with Long Chen suddenly mentioning Zhu Yu, a slightly bad feeling rose in their hearts. It seemed as if everything was within Long Chen's expectations. Why hasn't Len Yuian come? 
asked Long Chen. Brat, you talk a lot. Since you like to talk, I'll make sure you mop the ground for me every day once I refine you into a living corpse, shouted one of them. Since she hasn't come, I'm put at ease. Long Chen really was relieved. Although he hadn't talked much with Len Yuan, through some of her insinuations, he had learned a few of the corrupt path secrets. Furthermore, it seemed Len Yuan didn't feel any emotion toward the corrupt path. In fact, Long Chen could sense that inside, she hated and loathed the corrupt path. It was precisely because of this that Long Chen didn't understand his relationship with Len Yuan. In the end, he was unable to muster the resolve to kill her. So the fact that she hadn't come allowed him to sigh with relief. One for one, Long Chen looked toward Ouyang Qiuayu. Will you be alright? Asked Ouyang Qiuayu worriedly. This kind of question is an insult to a man. Long Chen smiled. Seeing that Long Chen could still joke at this time ended up stirring Ouyang Qiuayu's pride. She smiled. Battle intent rising within her. Let's start then. Brothers, the true battle starts. The sect master and I will handle these two old ghosts. Sorry. There won't be a portion for you, but there are plenty of pigs for the slaughter down below. As for who can kill more pigs, it'll be up to who has the ability. Brothers, your weapons are already getting impatient for blood. Let us fight a blood-soaked battle once more today, using their blood to dye our robes. This battle will forever be our glory. Brothers, kill. Long Chen shouted and launched himself at the half-step king, pulling open the curtains of the true battle. Chapter 937 Green Dragon Battle Armor vs. Half-Step King Translator Born to be Kill Following Long Chen's roar, the Dragon Blood Warrior's blood ignited. They went all out, the treasure items in their hands releasing brilliant lights. Each of the Dragon Blood Warriors activated their treasure items' true forms. Boundless killing intent raged in the sky. Each one of them looked like a killing god about to start a slaughter. Spirit Blood This is Spirit Blood Power. Impossible. The two half-step kings roared furiously, filled with disbelief. 360 dragon blood warriors all released spirit blood fluctuations. Considering their immense experience, how could they not notice? It was precisely because they noticed that they couldn't believe it. Geniuses that possessed spirit blood all had shockingly powerful backgrounds and inheritances. Spirit blood was something that would only appear when their ancestral blood was fully activated. The corrupt path had entered an unprecedented golden era but even they had pitifully few disciples with spirit blood. And what was unbelievable was that each one of the dragon blood warriors' spirit blood fluctuations was incredibly powerful. Their spirit blood was extremely dense. Such a thing was simply not possible. Just the fact that the dragon blood warriors were all rank 3 celestials was unbelievable. But now, they had suddenly transformed into rank 3 celestials with spirit blood. Quick, kill them all, roared the half-step king. He was truly panicked now. If this continued, then all their elite disciples would be killed. Although their people were sea expansion experts as well, the majority of them weren't celestials, and none of them possessed spirit blood. Even if their realms were higher, how were they supposed to stop the dragon blood legion? They had to kill Long Chen and Ouyang Qiuayu quickly so they could stop them. According to this speed, it wouldn't be long before all their sea expansion experts were killed. You should care about yourself. Long Chen arrived in front of the half-step king. Blood drinker slashing down. Ignorant brat. I'll show you what it means to respect the strong. That half-step king's dried up hand slammed forth. Although it was just an ordinary attack. It caused space to crumble. Boom. Long Chen's saber landed on his palm. Both his arms shook intensely and his saber almost escaped his grasp. He shot back. Old ghost. You're quite strong. Being able to blow him back after he had summoned the four-star battle armor and divine ring showed that half-step kings were truly powerful. Die roared the half-step king, suppressing his shock, he let out another palm, he had no time to be shocked by Long Chen's power, because with each passing breath, countless elites of the corrupt path were being slaughtered, as for the foundation forging side, there was nothing optimistic about it, Tang Wanner and the others had also released the power of their spirit blood, and their spirit blood was even more terrifying, Tang Wanner was especially frightening, with her wind blades forming a sea of death around her, no one could stop her, Tang Wanner and the others were facing 30 foundation forging experts, but they were so powerful that their opponents were on the verge of collapse. Right now, the only ones who could bring hope to the corrupt path on this battlefield were the two half-step kings. If they couldn't quickly kill Long Chen and Ouyang Qiuayu, all their people would be killed. Boom. The half-step king's palm landed. However, what met it wasn't a saber, but a fist covered in green scales. Crack. The half-step king was blown back, his arms broken. 
He was filled with shock. Long Chen Na released a sacred aura with his body completely covered in green scales. Nice work, Long Chen. Oh Young Qiu had originally been worried for him, but seeing that he still had such a terrifying trump card, she was put at ease. Although she didn't recognize this move, she could sense the limitless power within Long Chen's body. Oh Young Qiu today, you'll die without a grave. The other half-step king also attacked now. He clearly recognized Oh Young Qiu, and as soon as he attacked, he released his full power. A bone tower appeared in his hands. It was three meters tall, and it was unknown what bone it was made of. Black key coiled within it. As soon as this ancient tower appeared, the world became gloomy and eerie, as if it had been turned into a ghost region. Nine fiendish heads appeared on top of the tower, and opening their mouths, nine black arrows shot out. The black arrows caused strange sounds. It was like the void was being corroded. If struck by one of those arrows, even treasure items would corrode to nothingness. Oh young Kiyu took out a drum. At first, it was only the size of a palm, but it quickly grew to 300 meters, releasing endless divine might. A muffled bang rang out as Oh young Kiyu's hand slapped onto the drum. Countless runes lit up on its skin. It looked like a formation diagram, and an arc of light shot out. Boom. The nine arrows blew apart with the light. HMPH. So you've also brought the Zuan Shio Deo sect's protective king item, the heaven catching drum, snorted the half step king. If it wasn't a king item, how could it block the attack of your nine ghost refining soul tower? said Oh Young Kiyu coldly. The heaven catching drum she had taken out was the Zuan Shin Deo sect's protective treasure. Although she wasn't a king and she didn't necessarily have the power to possess a king item, she had the status to. And so the head sect had intentionally given her the king item to protect the sect and control its karmic lock. This was the reason why Oh Young Kiyu dared to come here without a plan. As for the half-step king she was facing, his bone tower was also a powerful king item. He was pressed for time, and so he didn't bother with any testing blows. He directly used his king item to attack Novaloon.com Then let me see just how much of a king item's power someone merely at the peak of foundation forging can bring out sneered the half-step king. His bone tower began to rapidly revolve, and black key circulated within it. Black figures charged out of it like ghosts, wailing as they charged toward Oh Young Kiyu. Although I'm not a half-step king, it's no problem for me to hold you back. Oh Young Kiyu repeatedly slammed her palms against the heaven-catching drum. Continuous arcs of light shot out of it, shattering the ghost images. However, the half-step king's bone tower continued to revolve causing more ghost figures to fly out in an endless stream. In truth, these ghost images were an extremely terrifying soul art. Not only did they possess a powerful spiritual aspect, but they also contained curse energy. If Oh Young Kiyu was struck, it would be very troublesome for her. However, a king item was for kings. Even half-step kings found them extremely difficult to use, and they exhausted a huge amount of spiritual yuan. As for Oh Young Kiyu, she wasn't even a half-step king. So the corrupt elder was intentionally unleashing this barrage of attacks to exhaust Oh Young Kiyu's spiritual yuan. While Oh Young Kiyu fought this half-step king with king items, Long Chen had summoned the green dragon battle armor to fight an even more intense battle with the other half-step king. Half-step kings were incredibly powerful, and magical arts could be used instantaneously by them. They didn't need hand seals and could release them at any moment. Magical arts were normal moves to them. Furthermore, each one of their attacks was incredibly powerful and sharp. As for Long Chen, no matter what attack his opponent used, he would simply let out a punch. Each attack was a heaven-shaking collision. This was Long Chen's second time using the Green Dragon battle armor, and his control over it was much more refined. Right now, his blood had been completely transformed by the Green Dragon essence blood, giving rise to a completely new kind of blood. This blood rumbled within his body, and without him even doing anything. It drew out the power of his four key seas to strengthen him. That made him full of energy. Like a volcano that had been storing up energy for millions of years and was now finally releasing it all. Furthermore, he found that with each punch, indescribable energy was released by the green dragon battle armor that broke apart any magical arty struck. Even though that was the case, Long Chen had no choice but to admit that half-step kings were truly powerful. Without the green dragon battle armor, he wouldn't have been able to exchange a single blow with them before being heavily injured. Fortunately, he did have the green dragon battle armor. Brandishing his fists, he charged forward. As for the half-step king he was facing, he clearly didn't specialize in close-range combat. 
His magical arts came out of him in an unending stream. Those magical arts were unable to display any effect in front of the Green Dragon battle armor. Long Chen's power completely restrained him. The battlefield was now split into three sections. Ouyang Qiuyu and Long Chen were fighting half-step kings. Long Chen's fight was the most intense. While Ouyang Qiuyu and her opponent were both exhausting the other spiritual Yuan through their king items. The more chaotic battle was comprised of Men Qi, Tang Wanur, Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, and Guo Ran fighting foundation forging experts. It was also extremely intense. Down below, the Dragonblood warriors were slaughtering their way through the corrupt Path C expansion army. In just an incense stick's worth of time, their mighty army had lost a third of their number. The Dragonblood Legion was incredibly fierce. Looking at this imposing scene, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts all felt like their hearts had stopped pounding. They had never seen such a terrifying scene. Sea expansion experts were truly nothing more than cannon fodder. Now they understood why Long Chen hadn't let them enter the battle. With their little power, throwing them into the battle wouldn't even cause a ripple. At the same time, they were grateful to Long Chen and Ouyang Qiuyu. They had given them face and let them enter. Now they could say they had participated in the ultimate righteous and corrupt battle and testify to its unprecedented scale. 3, 2, 1, release. Men Qi suddenly gave everyone a spiritual message. On Men Qi and the others' battlefield, four huge figures suddenly appeared. Roaring shook the heavens. Chapter 938 The Might of King Items Translator Born to be four fierce roars shook the land as three earth dragons and one reday sacred blood phoenix appeared in the air. They launched a sudden attack against the corrupt experts. This sudden attack caught them off guard. Furthermore, the four magical beasts had long since been accumulating power for an attack. Three waves of dragon breath and an innate ability from the reday sacred blood phoenix instantly killed four foundation forging experts. Their cooperation had been excellent. The four foundation forging experts had been standing together. So all the magical beasts' attacks had been concentrated. As a result, the four of them encountered a tragic end. After this attack, the earth dragons fell to the ground, crushing a few corrupt experts fighting down there. The Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix flew toward the sea expansion elders from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The corrupt experts had sent a few hundred people to kill them. But the true feather on the Blood Phoenix's head rose, and a red light slaughtered those attacks. The appearance of the four magical beasts caused chaos on the battlefield. The Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix was in charge of protecting the sea expansion elders, while the three earth dragons slaughtered the corrupt experts on the ground. The reason Menki and the others had suddenly released them was because Menki had noticed that Ouyang Qiuyu was starting to get pale as she fought against the half-step king. Using a king item was clearly extremely taxing for her. As for the half-step king, his expression was twisted into a sinister smile. This meant half-step kings were truly a step above peak foundation forging. So they had to quickly kill the enemies in front of them to help Ouyang Qiuyu. But the corrupt experts had also noticed this and they went all out. Although Menki and the others had managed to kill four foundation forging experts in this sudden blow, they were unable to crush the remaining foundation forging experts in a blow. Long Chen, shouted Menki, understood. Long Chen saw all of this. He had underestimated the power of a half-step king. Fortunately, his opponent didn't have a king item. But despite that, his magical arts came in an unending stream, and he was capable of using all kinds of bizarre techniques. Long Chen was helpless to do anything to him. His skill in magical arts was extremely refined, and Long Chen's own magical arts were too coarse and unrefined to catch him off guard. Furthermore, that old bastard refused to face Long Chen head on after being injured. He maintained a distance from him, simply trying to make him run out of energy. Seeing Ouyang Qiuyu at a disadvantage, Long Chen took a deep breath. Two dragons flew out of his arms. Lai Long and Huo Long roared, charging at the half-step king. This time, what was being used wasn't their energy, but their true bodies. The half-step king was startled by their appearance. He had never seen such powerful lightning or flame energy. The flame dragon was one thing. After all, there were earth flames in this world. But he had never seen anyone capable of controlling the nine heavens tribulation lightning. A huge barrier of light appeared in front of him. This was his strongest defense. When the two dragons crashed onto the barrier, it shook slightly but didn't break split the heavens too. A huge saber image soared into the sky, slashing down with a heaven-destroying power. The half-step king's expression changed and he formed new hand seals. Boom. The barrier exploded and the saber continued down. HMPH. You can't do anything to me, snorted the old man. 
He sensed that Long Chen's power was strange and restrained his magical arts. To kill him would be very difficult. But on the other hand, his companion had completely suppressed Ouyang Qiyu. As long as he killed Ouyang Qiyu, he would then be able to instantly kill Long Chen with his king item. The half-step king formed a strange hand seal with his thumb and middle finger touching, and his other fingers clasped. Corrupt spirit shield. Black key condensed, forming a huge shield. A demonic face twisted in savagery appeared on it. Boom. Blood drinker slashed onto the corrupt spirit shield, causing a powerful explosion. Runes blew apart in every direction. I told you that you're helpless to do anything to me. The half-step king sneered upon blocking Long Chen's attack. He was extremely confident in his defensive powers. What? But his smile quickly vanished. The exploding runes had blocked his vision and spiritual perception. When his spiritual perception recovered, he suddenly found that Long Chen wasn't in front of him. The only thing there was a blood red saber. His head buzzed, and his hair stood on end. His energy circulated within him as he prepared to dodge. Too late, an icy voice rang out behind the half-step king. A hand ruthlessly tore through his back and out his chest. That scale-covered hand was dripping with blood, as well as some broken bits of organs. The half-step king couldn't move. A berserk energy was wreaking havoc over his body, completely sealing all of his power. A flash of comprehension appeared in his eyes. He knew he had been duped. The reason Long Chen had released the two dragons was just to block his spiritual perception. However, the one thing he couldn't understand was how his saber had released an attack on its own. One containing Long Chen's specific aura. Wasn't it said only king items were capable of imitating their owner's aura? You really are despicable. I refuse to accept this. Roared the half-step king. Long Chen's arm shook. His dragon blood power erupted. Blowing apart his enemy's body. At that exact moment. A translucent figure shot out of the exploding body and entered Long Chen's head. Ha ha ha. As long as I possess your body. I can return to my peak. Perhaps I can even advance to the king realm. No, not perhaps, definitely. The translucent figure was the half-step king's soul. He specialized in magical arts, so his spiritual strength was powerful. Taking advantage of Long Chen having no defenses, he actually surprised himself at how easily he had entered Long Chen's mind. Long Chen was a peerless genius. Once he possessed him and restarted cultivating, he would definitely be able to surpass his old self. So you've come. A faint voice rang out. Who's there? The half-step king had only just entered Long Chen's mind sea and finally had a chance to look around. Before he could exclaim in shock about how boundless his mind sea was, he saw a broken bell floating in the center. Don't bother with who I am. Putting it the way Long Chen would. We're all very busy. Since you've sent yourself to me, I won't stand on courtesy. After saying this, an irresistible suction force came out of the eastern wasteland bell, pulling the half-step king's soul toward it. No. Who are you? Release me. No matter how the half-step king struggled, his soul still ended up being sucked into the eastern wasteland bell. In truth, his little scheme was unable to escape Long Chen. But Long Chen knew the eastern wasteland bell needed the souls of experts. For this idiot to send himself into his mind sea was like meat jumping into his mouth. The eastern wasteland bell directly sucked him up. After killing his half-step king opponent, he grabbed his spatial ring and shot toward Ouyang Qiyu's side. The other half-step king was completely suppressing her with his higher cultivation base. Oh young Kiyuaya wouldn't be able to hold on for much longer. The sudden reversal of Long Chen's battle shocked him. That other half-step king was truly lacking at close-range combat. If it had been him, Long Chen's attack would have been sensed by him and he wouldn't have fallen for it. Double Dragon Destruction As soon as Long Chen appeared, he unleashed his strongest attack. HMPH The half-step king snorted and the ancient tower in front of him rapidly grew. He actually ended up hiding himself within the tower. Boom. The two dragons struck the tower, and the half-step king's expression suddenly changed. As the master of the bone tower, he immediately sensed something was off. Long Chen's lightning dragon possessed a power that was extremely damaging to his tower. This one attack had exhausted a third of the tower's energy. Bastard. I'll go all out against you. The half-step king was infuriated. Long Chen's lightning dragon was too terrifying, and it restrained his corrupt weapon. If he continued like this, just a few more moves from Long Chen would be enough to cripple his bone tower. Corrupt weapons were essentially all dark and evil existences. They were innately suppressed by thunder force. And Long Chen's thunder force came from tribulation lightning. It was a supreme yang existence, and it also contained a destructive will. Even his king item wasn't able to handle it. 
the bone tower began to shine and rapidly revolve. Black key circulated within, and a terrifying aura erupted from it. Novaloon.com not good. Men key. One or. Quick. Long Chen's expression changed. Boom. The black key within the tower suddenly exploded. The wailing of millions of life forms filled the air, and a black ripple spread in every direction. Die. Heaven devouring ghost key wave. The half-step king seemed to have become mad. This terrifying attack was causing space to crumble. The sound of a drum rang out. A huge drum appeared in front of Men Qi and the others. Long Chen shouted Tang Wanner upon seeing that he didn't have a king item to protect himself. Boom. The black wave flattened the entire minor world. Chapter 939 Capturing Him Alive Translator Born to be wherever the black wave went, the ground was flattened. This was a world-destroying power. Mountains crumbled in front of it. Long Chen held his two arms in front of him to block. He knew this old ghost had despaired. No longer caring about his corrupt path's elite disciples, he chose to activate this king item's power. Although a half-step king was unable to truly control a king item, they were still able to activate a portion of it. Just that little portion was enough to destroy this minor world. Long Chen felt like a shooting star had crashed into him. He could clearly hear the sound of his bones breaking from each part of his body. He shot back. Because he had been so close, Long Chen received the greatest impact. He almost fainted. As Long Chen was sent flying, the black wave didn't slow down at all because of his existence. The surrounding mountains were blown apart and buildings were raised. The corrupt path's stronghold that had existed for countless years had been instantly destroyed. At the same time, the ripple spread toward everyone else. Menki's earth dragon suddenly opened its mouth and breathed in. A powerful suction force brought all the dragon blood warriors into its mouth. After that, the earth dragon scuttled away and charged into the ground. It had only just snuck its way into a hole when that ripple struck. The Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix had long since flown away. It was carrying the sea expansion elders in its mouth. But even with its speed, it was caught by the black wave and sent flying. Long Chen vomited blood. He felt like every bone in his body had shattered. He hastily circulated the primal chaos bead to heal. However, he found that as his physical body grew stronger, the amount of life energy required to heal also grew. After advancing to sea expansion, the primal chaos space had grown by 10 times. It was now 30,000 miles wide and could be considered its own world. That huge space was filled with the spirit world's huge trees. Despite how much life energy they contained, their effect was no longer as amazing as before. He knew that this was the result of the dragon blood body tempering art. Back when he hadn't refined the dragon blood, he could have healed almost instantly. Now, his healing was much slower. But even if it was slow, it was hundreds of times greater than medicinal pills. In just a few breaths, the pain stopped, and his broken bones began to reconnect. He should be fully recovered in about two hours. That was already a miraculous effect. But to Long Chen who was used to instant recovery, it was too slow. Long Chen, are you alright? Men Qi, Oh Young Qi Uayu, and the others all rushed over. Oh Young Qi Uayu was apologetic, but this attack had come too suddenly for her to protect him. Fortunately, he was still alive. I'm fine, said Long Chen. The ground split open and three huge figures crawled out of the ground. They were the three earth dragons. Men Qi's earth dragon opened its mouth. The dragon blood warriors charged out. Even with the earth dragon protecting them, they had still been heavily injured. Fortunately, they had all survived. In the distance, the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix was also fine. By the time it had been struck, it had been far away enough, and it didn't receive any substantial injuries. Only now did everyone have a chance to appraise their surroundings. The unending mountain range and buildings had been completely destroyed. Everything within tens of thousands of miles was destroyed. The corrupt path's experts didn't even have corpses remaining. Not even one of the foundation forging experts had survived. It could be seen just how terrifying the attack of a king item was. Bastards, you didn't die. Just wait for the corrupt path's bloody revenge, roared the half-step king with exasperation. He had never expected that after exhausting all his spiritual yuan to activate a king item, he would still be unable to kill any of them. Instead, all he had wrought was killing his own elites. His face was green. The half-step king suddenly activated the bone tower. Its runes began to revolve and space shook. He was planning on breaking through space and leaving. Let's not wait. We're all busy. So let's settle things now, said Long Chen. The ground beneath the bone tower suddenly split apart, and a huge lightning dragon flew out. It coiled around the bone tower. At the same time, up in the sky, flame chains shot down. 
forming a huge net that wrapped the bone tower. The half-step king's expression completely changed. When the bone tower had unleashed its attack, Long Chen had hesitated, but he had still decided to leave the two dragons as trump cards. Lai Long and Huo Long had been hidden by him in the ground. At the bottom of the bone tower was a gap. Its terrifying attack had been the weakest directly below it, which had allowed the two dragons to survive. To set this up, Long Chen had given up on using the two dragons to block for him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have taken such heavy injuries. That had been a gamble, but now the gamble paid off. Lai Long had instantly coiled around it, and then Long Chen had activated the Raging Flame Prison. Chanting filled the air as Long Chen used the Nirvana scripture. The Earth Flame's power multiplied with the support of it. Bastard. The Half-Step King had originally been using the last bit of his power to use the Bone Tower to break the void and teleport away. But first, the Lightning Dragon had entangled it, drawing out the amount of time required. Then by the time he could try it again, the space around him had been completely locked by the flame chains. The spatial energy here had been thrown into disorder, making it so there was no way for him to leave. The Bone Tower was wrapped by lightning and flame. The Half-Step King couldn't even leave. Moreover, the Bone Tower's last bit of power was being exterminated by the lightning. Now he was just a chicken in a cage. Bastards, if you have any gods, then you'll release me. We'll have a fair fight, roared the Half-Step King. Idiot, did your brain rot from old age? A fair fight? You are a half-step king using a king item. You were trapped by my boss, an early sea expansion expert. You still have the face to ask for a fair fight? If my boss was the same realm as you, then even without a king item, he would kill you with a single fart, sneered Guo Ran. Hearing that, everyone couldn't help but crack a smile. The tense atmosphere had been ruined by his cursing. Bullshit. I don't believe you, roared the half-step king. Ah, then you're right. My own farts are definitely not as mighty as bosses. Guo Ran shrugged helplessly. Flames began to soar, and Lai Long retreated from the tower. Its sinister energy had been wiped away by it, and even its item spirit had been killed. Lai Long could already leave in victory. The bone tower was basically just an empty shell. It had the body of a king item but not the power. It was essentially a sturdy cage. The bone tower was still made of king item material, so the earth flame wasn't able to destroy it. However, the person inside wasn't able to bear those flames. Due to activating his king item, he had exhausted his spiritual yuan. Right now, he had no more energy. Just his physical body was not enough to resist these flames. He was the opposite of that tall and skinny half-step king. He was short and stout. Being broiled by these flames, oil began to pour out of him. A charred scent filled the air. Quick, add the hot pepper. The cumin and other powders have all been prepared. We'll have some barbecue to eat cried Guo Ran excitedly upon seeing that practically godlike half-step king being turned into his current state. By following Long Chen, Guo Ran had seen many sights that others couldn't believe. Long Chen was always pushing the boundaries of human imagination. Guo Ran involuntarily gulped down his saliva. Just looking at his current manner gave people goosebumps. For him to find this kind of scene appetizing, a sensation of nausea washed over everyone. Guo Ran, don't say such a thing. It's disgusting. Tang Wan'er was the first to shout at him. I was just talking. Don't treat it so seriously. Furthermore, barbecue requires half fat and half meat to be perfect. But this fatty is all fat. So the mouth feel Tang Wan'er kicked Guo Ran flying, shutting him up. This bastard was actually commenting like he was a professional cook. At first, everyone was just a bit disgusted. But as Guo Ran talked more and adding on the burning scent in the air, they felt like their stomachs were heaving. Bastards. Just you wait. You've provoked the entire corrupt path and will suffer our punishment. We'll return my pain a thousand times to you. Cursed the half-step king. He was helpless to do anything else. He was trapped within the tower, and the flames outside made it so he couldn't leave. He could only obediently wait for death inside. Death by fire was an annoying death. Hey, old ghost, don't be so rude. My boss is kindly helping you lose weight. But instead of thanking him, you're cursing him. Guo Ran walked over behind Long Chen and cursed the half-step king. This place was safer. No one could kick him. Only now did everyone see that the half-step king truly had lost quite a bit of weight. The effect of these flames was truly amazing. You, you, PFFT. Seeing everyone curiously staring at him and nodding, as if approving of Guo Ran's words, the half-step king vomited a mouthful of blood. The vomited blood was immediately incinerated by the flames. The half-step king was unable to stop the constant roasting of the earth flame, and his body was constantly quivering. 
Underworld soul bind Long Chen cast Menki a glance, and she immediately understood. Her spiritual strength erupted, and taking advantage of the half-step king's incredibly weak state, she instantly took control over his soul. The flame scattered, and the half-step king was caught in Long Chen's grasp. With a kick to his dantian, Long Chen crippled his cultivation base. He smiled toward Ouyang Qiyu. Capturing one of the corrupt path's top experts should be worth quite a bit of resources, right? So the half-step king, when saying bullshit, I don't believe you, really says you're farting, I don't believe you, and in this case, your farting would mean you're spouting nonsense, honestly, it just doesn't translate well and it's not very important. Chapter 940 The Plan for Vengeance Novaloon.com Translator Born to be looking at the crippled, half-dead half-step king, Ouyang Qiyu didn't know what to say for a long time. Outside this stronghold, Ouyang Qiyu had captured a late foundation forging expert alive, that was to give an explanation to the head sect and the eastern wasteland's righteous path. But now, Long Chen had caught a half-step king alive, that was a shocking achievement, one that would most likely cause the Zhuanshan Dao sect's prestige to rise to an unprecedented level. Not only can it be exchanged for quite a bit of things, but it'll also allow our Eastern Wastelands branch sect to vent a bit in front of the head sect, said Ouyang Qiyu gratefully. The bone tower was also put away by Ouyang Qiyu. Although it was essentially broken, it was a sign of their battle spoils. It was a valuable memento. At this moment, the Dragonblood warriors had also arrived beside Long Chen. They were incredibly excited, their blood still boiling from the fight. From their expressions, it seemed that they longed to continue fighting. Ouyang Qiyu and the other sea expansion elders were also excitedly examining the blood-soaked dragonblood warriors. They were unable to stay calm. Over 300 rank 3 celestials, each of them with limitless potential. Although they had only just advanced to sea expansion and couldn't even count as having reached the early stage, they were already capable of dominating the sea expansion realm. Then once they grew, just how terrifying would this group become? Furthermore, there were also people like Menki. Tang Wanur, and the others who were rank 4 celestials and capable of killing foundation forging experts. As for Wild, although they couldn't tell his cultivation base and they knew he wasn't a celestial, his power was still at the peak of everyone. It was just that right now, Wild was on the ground, crazily devouring food. Moreover, this terrifying group was led by a supreme monster, Long Chen. Even Ouyang Qiyu's heart pounded. The current Dragonblood Legion had finally revealed their brilliance. It was clear that Long Chen had definitely encountered some kind of miracle within the immemorial path to create such an unrevealed army. Let's leave. Ouyang Qiyu brought everyone back to the spatial portal. Forming a hand seal, the heaven-catching drum boomed. People felt like their bodies were being stretched taut. Ah, so sect master, you were long since prepared from the start. Guo Ran was amazed. He had just been wondering about how they were supposed to leave this sealed world. Do you think I'm like you lot and never think of the consequences? Since I dared to come in, I naturally can leave whenever I want, said Ouyang Qiyu, rolling her eyes. Why did it seem like these brats were looking down on her? The heaven-catching drum released countless runes that wrapped around everyone. They felt space twisting, and they found themselves on the battlefield where they had entered. They've come out. Sect master, monastery heads, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you've all come out alive. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples and elders all cheered. Some even wept tears of joy. Before they had left, they had all been prepared for them to be annihilated. They had thought they would never see these people again. But now they saw that they weren't even one number less than when they had entered. However, they were all soaked in blood. So they had definitely undergone an intense battle. Everyone cheered. The sea expansion elders couldn't help but feel ashamed. Yes, they were covered in blood. But it wasn't their enemy's blood. It was their own blood. Despite the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix's protection, they had still been injured by the final attack. Several of them were monastery heads, and their disciples flocked toward them, cheering. In their hearts, their monastery heads were true heroes. Everyone, thank you all for your support. The Zhuanshan Dao sect will remember this favor forever, said Ouyang Qiyu solemnly to the various sect leaders that had come to assist them. Originally, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had dozens of smaller powers under them, but once the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been attacked and Ouyang Qiyu had tried to gather them, they had evaded every which way, refusing to help. Only seven sects had come to their aid. Although they were mostly useless, they had still gone all out to assist them. Only at this time was it possible to see who was a real friend. 
One of those sect leaders shook his head. Even hundreds of years ago, our pure wind gate was under the Zhuangshan Dao sect's protection. The favor you have given is impossible for us to repay. That's right. When the remote heaven gang was suppressing us and trying to devour us, it was the Zhuangshan Dao sect that helped us survive. For us to come here is something we simply had to do. HMPH. There are some idiots that forget other people's kindness. If it hadn't been for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they would have long since been devoured by others, said another sect leader. Before coming, they had alerted the other sects like them, but those other sects had refused to come, instead telling them not to send themselves to their deaths, saying something about how the Zhuangshan Dao sect was heavily injured and how it would definitely decline, and that they had to stand independent now to avoid being dragged down with them. At the same time as they had received the request for aid, they had received a threat from the remote heaven gang. Although they hadn't said anything explicitly, it was clear that the remote heaven gang wanted to dominate the eastern wasteland on their own. Helping the Zhuangshan Dao sect was becoming enemies with the remote heaven gang. Fuck. I even suspect that the corrupt path sneak attack was instigated by the remote heaven gang. The timing is too coincidental. TCH. What are you coughing about? You also know this. So what if there isn't proof? There's a 90% chance this matter is related to the remote heaven gang. Cursed one of the smaller sect leaders. He was correct. The sneak attack had been too sudden and fierce. And the timing was extremely coincidental. If Ouyang Kiyuayu had returned according to her original plans, then by the time she would have returned, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would have been destroyed. But perhaps it was that the Zhuangshan Dao sect's karmic luck hadn't run out yet. She had returned just in time to save the sect from destruction. Furthermore, on the corrupt path's way to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, there were many smaller sects, but they hadn't been implicated at all. Their targets had clearly been the Zhuangshan Dao sect and their supermonasteries. However, if you wanted to say something, you had to have proof. That was why someone else had coughed to remind him that he shouldn't say such things. But that person didn't care. Whether or not they colluded has no relevance for us. Oh young Kiyuayu shook her head. The remote heaven gang was an enormous power, and they had many subordinate powers. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they were heavily injured. The remote heaven gang would definitely take advantage of this time to make threats and promises to neutral powers to bring them to their side. Traitors had appeared even amongst the sects following the Zhuangshan Dao sect it was all too easy for them to bring over more powers that had originally been neutral in their conflict. Sect master, I'm planning on leaving the Zhuangshan Dao sect with my brothers, said Long Chen suddenly. What? Oh young Kiyuayu couldn't believe her ears. Everyone else was also startled including the Dragonblood Legion. Only Menki, Guo Ran, and the others were calm. They had long since guessed this result. Although it's a bit sudden, I hope you can accept disciples' resignation, said Long Chen. Give me a reason. Oh Young Kiyuayu's expression was gloomy. Her eyes were misty. She couldn't figure out why Long Chen would be this merciless. Or was it that he looked down on the Zhuangshan Dao sect? Many things happened in the immemorial path this time. I've gradually begun to understand a certain principle. The struggles of the martial path are simply cruel. Previously, I had many misjivings because of the people by my side. I endured things and restrained myself. But all I got in return was unending schemes and attempts to take my life. So this time, I've decided not to restrain myself. I want to completely expose my fangs. I will no longer have any misjivings about my opponent's statuses, their backgrounds, or their power. To cultivate is to put one's life on the line. Once a person loses that courage, the people by their side will disappear one by one. So this time, I'm planning on putting my life on the line along with all my brothers. Long Chen looked at the Dragonblood warriors. He solemnly said, All of them are my hot-blooded brothers. Our hearts are connected. And if I put my life on the line, I know all of them will do the same without hesitation. But I don't want to implicate you in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Oh young Kiyuai raged. What nonsense are you talking about? Implicating us? You are my disciple, and we are one family. Don't you feel like your words are very heartless? Furthermore, everything's already over. We've exterminated one of the corrupt path's two forces. They temporarily won't be able to counterattack. What are you so worried about? A bitter smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Sect master, you're thinking too simply. This attack against the corrupt path was just the first step of my plan for vengeance just the first step. Everyone was startled. Crippling and killing two half-step kings and dozens of foundation forging experts, as well as hundreds of thousands of elite disciples, was just a start? I don't care what your reason is. 
My Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples are not permitted to leave whenever they want. Oh Yang Qiyu grabbed Long Chen's arm. Furthermore, you promised me that if someone bullied me, you'd protect me. Could it be you've grown up and your words no longer count? Long Chen's heart warmed slightly, but he guiltily said, I also don't want to leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect after all. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is my home. However, if I don't leave, it will likely cause the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect to be destroyed. If it's destroyed, then it's destroyed. Since we dared to go all out with you once, we'll dare to do it again. Long Chen, you are not allowed to leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect. You are the pride of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and our moral pillar, begged one of the monastery heads. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, don't leave. We're willing to follow you into life or death. What startled Long Chen was that unfamiliar faces began to passionately shout one by one, their voices ringing throughout the sky. Do you see? You're the one who brought the Zhuangshan Dao sect's conviction onto the right path. You can't leave. Oh Yang Qiyu smiled at the passionate Zhuangshan Dao sect disciples. Long Chen's expression was complicated. Seeing these passionate disciples looking at him with worship, his heart was torn. Long Chen, you don't need to have misjivings about us. We will forever stand by your side. Let's go back to the sect. Afraid that Long Chen would back out. Oh Yang Qiyu struck while the iron was hot. She directly pulled Long Chen in the direction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Long Chen was helpless. If he left the Zhuangshan Dao sect at this time, he would hurt too many people. He once more became a bit lost. Their grand army returned to the Zhuangshan Dao sect when they arrived. Seeing the packed people within the sect, Oh Yang Qiyu's expression changed. Oh Yang Qiyu. Hand over Long Chen, or we'll raise the Zhuangshan Dao sect to the ground. A furious row rang out from within the Zhuangshan Dao sect. 